Today we got a bunch of stuff that I wanna go through. We got that Twitch drama going around with like, is streaming a hard job? Is it a hard job, ladies and gentlemen? We're gonna be talking about it. We got the next Battlefield game leaking out as well. We're gonna talk about it. There's some good stuff going on. And we also, if we have time, we're gonna check out some UFO content. I will have timestamps for literally every topic, but the first thing that I wanna show you, this one will blow your mind, okay? This thing is truly just sad and also pathetic. And it's also kind of hilarious. Uh, once you see, you, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. And if we also got time, I will also show you a video. Like and subscribe walk them on in if you're new here uh, definitely get something to eat and get a little cozy now get ready for this one guys fasten your seatbelts clench your butt cheeks because I don't think you guys are ready for this one okay guys Activision is given Modern Warfare 3 okay Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone players one hour of double XP weapon XP and battle uh, pass XP tokens for server outrages from last week Bruh. Now, I've read like a lot of you guys comments and there was one of you that did say that, you know what, servers went down, watch Activision gave us like maybe, you know what, if we're lucky, we're probably just gonna get an entire weekend of double XP. My friend, you were way too generous. You were way too generous. Listen, if I could, I would put you as a CEO of Activision because at least you thought about giving the player base one week one week of uh, the entire weekend of double xp weekend not one week i i, I don't think you're this nice but you know what i mean Bruh. right but these things are like we're gonna give you one hour of double xp everybody just uh clap it up man Clap it up for the seconds. Cheetah, what's good? So this is about live service games and they are getting out of control. Modern Warfare 3 and we got the homie Drifter. Look at my, my guy sleeping out here. Hey guys, Drifter here. On February 23rd, 2024, many of you experienced a massive live service failure for Call of Duty, leaving yeah. the game down and less than functional for about 12 hours. And yep. coincidentally, you can actually see the delay in my production times by counting the difference in Yeah, days. you're a century late, but damn, homie sleeping though. Uh, he might actually be sick, so you know what? <laughs> I hope he get well soon, but they, what they did, they gave us one hour of double XP. <laughs> One hour and when this comes out, uh, but I got to work on it. What up? I use how you doing, man? Because it was a Wait, massive man. event in the Call of Duty community. Charlie Intel was reporting <laughs> on this. People had their ranks yeah. reset, unlocks. Dude, I want I want me a gaming setup like that where I can also like talk and sleep at the same time. Homie sleeping. Homie literally sleeping right now. Let me put my fist cam on the other side here. Reset levels reset basically every single thing about their call of duty account got reset and went down including a variety of warzone accounts yeah. that still have not been completely restored to their original glory there some people are kind of been reset permanently yep, and stuck yep, yep. with lesser unlocks which i doubt that they enjoy because that means all of those hours of grinding got reduced to nothing and the camera then the camera falls and knocked it without you what are the odds yo i hope the camera does not fall though that would be absolutely sad and hilarious because like yo homie sleeping i've never seen you know what this is a w setup guys what are we thinking wrl setup wrl setup man this this is actually hilarious man mere seconds and the one upside from this event is that everybody had to play with the same classes which made it fair yeah. kind of leveled the playing field and supposedly this is a more of a community thing and not something that really activision was Al? talking about come on man that the service failure was so bad that the skill matching algorithm was either not functioning properly or disabled on demon wears in so there was no skill based matchmaking for a couple of hours and players got this real and, and people that got to play around that time they were like really really happy and most of them got hit in the g spawn most of them were like okay well this is my time to shine you know what i'm saying <laughs> and then activision strike back by saying that not today mother trigger we are gonna and, and you know the thing was this right their servers went down sure they do not care about that they they really don't care but the the main thing that went down was their skill based management algorithm they care about that and they're also shop their shop the the you know the the friendly their bbc bundle shop also went down so they needed to act fast and just as a you know what like as a sorry right because activision is really sorry right now they're like yeah bros like <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, we're, uh, we apologize. We're gonna give you one hour of double XP in return. This is comedy, man. Actors in Comedy Central, bro. Oh, weird mix of emotions of happy that the playing field was leveled and they were getting that experience that they want and mad that all of the stuff that they spent Don't hours working on and grinding for, <laughs> unlocking and buying essentially got turned off and reset. And a quick yeah. uh, little explainer here, I'm just following up on a question from a different video. A lot of people wondered what's with the bed cam, especially this yeah. lower bottom right corner. So I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm in bed due to illness. Yes, I can sit up yeah. and get around. Just can't do it for a super long period of time. I built this for my comfort. I also like referencing- Yeah, so I, I assume like he was sick, right? Because uh, for the longest amount of time, like Drifter used to be like very, very active, right? And then uh, when I say active in terms of like making content, he was like daily, he was going live daily. Uh, not necessarily live, but like making videos uh, and he would upload that every single day and then he kind of stopped and then uh, he made a video about like his uh, health condition and you know what i wish him nothing but the best like i hope the homie recovers and uh the, I, I mean like if you gotta make videos like this you gotta make videos like this at the end of the day man yeah, you gotta get uh, get that bread so uh no disrespect but but that like the setup looking kind of comfy though actually articles here on charlie intel and doing the split right. screen thing when i talk about very specific topics and when i do that the formatting on the webcams is a little weird to where if i didn't have this bottom webcam there'd just be this weird kind of gap down here I so i kind of use I that to I fill feel. in the gap and it also explains the unusual camera angle killing two birds with one stone we better frame the video and it gives the audience a visual understanding of exactly what's going on here so i thought i didn't lose my things just didn't play when i found out when it went downhill yeah i see you but would you play right now knowing that activision is giving us like one hour of double xp as like a token of appreciation and as like uh, their way of apologizing to there yeah bobby they're giving you like one hour of double xp right now that uh, you guys well, might only. be interested in that little explanation. So now let's jump into the main topic uh -oh. of today's video, uh -oh. which is the fact that live service games can feel overwhelming they if do. you're not they sort do. of living them, if you're not in them, if you're not playing them every day, you can log back on and feel very overwhelmed by what's going on. And even if you are- This, this is me with like Fortnite, because uh, I don't hate Fortnite, but I also don't love Fortnite, right? And, and like, whenever I go back to Fortnite and, and play the game, I'm like truly overwhelmed. I'm not sure like what's happening. I don't even know what planet I'm on whenever I try to hop on Fortnite. Any of you feel that way? Because they come out with so much talk uh, content, right? Uh, and whenever I hop over on Call of Duty, it's like I miss nothing. I can hop back over on Call of Duty after a year and I, I would be like, Bruh. I miss nothing. Uh, you what up, Jerry? How you doing, brother? Welcome on in, man. Living those games every day and playing them all the time, they can become emotionally exhausting because of the yep, never-ending yep, yep, hype yep, train yep. and relative sameness of updates. And then, of course, most importantly, most relating to the COD outage in our first topic of the day, you don't own anything. Yep, Every true, live service true, true. game, you're essentially paying access to be allowed to play in the publisher's ecosystem for whatever they have going on. And Even whenever they shut the servers down, then it's like Joe over completely. It's like you do not own the game at all. You don't own it. I still have XP tokens from last year. Love <laughs> Yo, oh this is absolutely pathetic. Activision, y'all Sega should have give, given everyone, and it, uh, of course you have not given, you should have given already, but you know what? Let's make a temporary truce. How about this, okay? Y'all Sega should just immediately, as a brown man, I demand for y'all Sega to immediately issue uh, one Benjamin to all your players that everyone that's playing your game right now okay for torturing themselves putting themselves up to this torture and play your snooze fest of a game okay everybody that's playing i don't care whether you're loving the game or you're hating it uh if you're playing the game you deserve to get paid for playing call of duty like the video if you agree like the stream man even if you bought a physical disc copy of the game for 70 or 80 dollars or 120 yeah. or whatever it's going to be that's really not that different than getting a subscription service for the year to be allowed wl to play the game. what are you thinking and you'll play this and you might have to spend like countless hours leveling up customizing your gear grinding getting very meticulous, working your way up the ranks and leaderboards, yep. ha only to have it all disappear almost instantly due to a tiny little error on the publisher's server. And that happens because almost nothing about your game that you really care about is stored locally. 
all your unlocks, your gear, your classes, it's almost all, all of that stuff is stored server side right now. What so up, Space Pirate? How you doing, man? Yeah, we're doing good. We're talking about gaming, and soon we're gonna be checking out like some UFO content as well. And there's like a whole lot of other topics that I want to dive into. But yeah, we're talking about live service games and Call of Duty getting out of control. And we got the homie Drifter with his like sleeping setup right now as well. Uncle Pinks, how you doing, man? Uh, you're going out of space. What's good, man? Yep, my Rocket League account is worthless now since they took away trading. I had thousands of dollars in inventory damn son that's that's insane though like real life money or probably like in game money Bruh. uh right but but like imagine though you know say like that that's insane man honestly bro like I, I am also like, oh yeah, online games can be, or digital games can be convenient, yeah, sure. But it's like, whenever they take the servers down, then it's like, completely done. You cannot do anything. It's because at the end of the day, it's their game. I mean, even if you have a physical copy, they can turn off the servers, but... You know, you can always kind of sell it, but if this turn the servers down, turn servers off, then it's going to be pointless to sell if that makes sense. So far, physical media and single player games are the only safe bet if you want to ever like buy them, play them whenever and sell them. But to see the problem right now is that even single player ge games are getting to the point where you are required to have 24 7 internet connection without 24 7 internet connection you cannot play single player games dog at th this don't even make sense Sigas are trying to have battle pass battle pass in single player games you kidding me right now you kidding me uh both real life and in game profit damn yo oh, shit. Oh, shit. that's crazy i never really played uh rock no i played uh once twice but never like that though never uh, to the point where like i was making like real life money or i didn't even know quite frankly that you could uh that that's insane i know about csgo though like sickers would actually like trade and sell and crap like that and make their money that's that's insane though that there's a persistent profile and so it's easy for people to log back on from other devices and jump yeah, right in. Yeah, 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 as yeah. relating to the recent outage that's why when you logged back in everybody's accounts were messed up and all their stuff was you know either not unlocked or disabled for some reason uh -huh. because it's all stored on the server that was Sorry, screwed up and yeah. i assume that those things are going to be fixed over the next couple of days but i'm worried because purchased items are even more complicated there's much mm. it really boils down to complexity and and all and because all of this happened they're giving us like one hour of double xp though they're just giving us one hour they're like yeah one hour that's all you get mother trucker counting and how you're buying the points and how you're spending you agree? In, in the ecosystem Jason? and royalties to creators like Nicki minaj is getting a cut of her skin right of course so of course. when live services go down all of those items are suddenly worthless inaccessible because what you've really course, paid for of course is to have a tiny little data entry and a giant database on a server somewhere that says you have the homelander skin and if they don't maintain that server then that money you spent and that physical thing really kind of doesn't exist and this can get even worse when publishers pull support for a game especially a game that was designed to be live service uh, all the servers go down and the game becomes unplayable there's so many games what even ones thinking? that are just sort of regular multiplayer what we're thinking live service games wrl let's settle this real fast okay emergency meeting real quick run run everybody run uh, I just picked up Helldivers 2, about to see how this thing plays out, both real life and in game profit. Yo, what up, Gray? How you doing, man? Helldivers kind of fun, that's what Jason says. Yo, Alex, welcome on in. How you doing, my man? How you doing? Uh, Alex is dropping L in the chat. Uh, live service games, W or L. Now, here's the thing the idea behind live service games is a W. But the execution is an L. I do agree with you, Alex. The idea is good because it's it means that the game is going to be forever alive. That it's going to be getting content very frequently. And uh, it's supposed to get content. It is supposed to get content, but it's not. Or, let me just put it this way. It is getting content, but the content is locked behind another paywall, if that makes sense, right? Whether that be like the BBC bundle, like a friendly Unity Online in Call of Duty, whether that be like Battle Pass. Battle Pass, okay, that's a little bit different because you can pay $10 and you can get some level of content from it and... Uh, most games would give you their currency back so you can like buy another battle pass with it in a way for free You just put in ten dollars and then later on you can play it for uh, you can actually uh, get another one for free For majority of the players it don't work like that because most people when they see like shiny shiny currency virtual currency come in They're like let me <laughs> let me buy something else in the shop and they blow their ca uh, Call of Duty points in this way uh, in this regard on something else right and then they have to play like more so this is 
a very very smart technique of uh, tactic by like the gaming publishers right now it works man there's a reason why they give you some uh, call of duty points back and fortnite always give you v bucks back uh, whenever you purchase the battle pass because it works yo nacho what's good man i see you on twitch i see you here cronies how you doing my brother uh overall the idea is a w but the execution is really really poor i don't think anybody want to pay like 70 80 bucks for a game i mean like 70 dollars plus taxes right i don't think anybody want to pay 70 dollars plus taxes and then all the new content and be promised that you're gonna get all the new content pay 70 dollars plus taxes you promise new content you buy the game and then you get the new content in the game but that's locked behind another paywall you feel what i'm saying that's the problem the, the, uh, otherwise live service games are w though and, and yeah cronies uh, you're just coming on right now right they are given everybody that's just coming on if you're watching this later on as a video i know like i've been saying this million times over but, but it's the truth it's the goddamn truth and it's also hilarious because the servers went down activision is giving you how how okay don't read it don't read it let me hide it you already read it sadly dang it but uh how long do you think activision <laughs> is giving you um uh, yeah okay I, I mean i'm letting the cat out of the bag you know whatever okay they're giving you double xp as a token of uh, appreciation and as like their way of uh, hey we apologize for the servers going down we apologize we apologize right I, I know this is a video, so I gotta be fast. Attention spans are low. They're giving you one hour of double XP. Bomboka! One hour. Just just one hour. <laughs> multi, multi, multi billion, multi billion dollar company giving you one hour. You, Amber, what's good? New York Times, I see you, brother. Or New York Tyrant. I think that you would be able to play on DDR. land. Become unplayable when either the publishers pull out, the servers get shut down, or entire platforms disappear. For example, think about how many Call of Duty games you've bought in the last 10 years that you can't play anymore because either the servers don't work or maybe because it's so hacked into oblivion there's no point. And it's scary to think that the Call of Duty game that you're playing yeah, yeah, right yeah. now can and probably will at some point in the future do the exact same thing, probably uh -huh, the distant uh -huh, future. Uh -huh. And this sort of massive service- uh, And yeah, if you're just coming out, Drift are really sleeping right now. <laughs> Yeah, Drift. And now, honestly, he is sick. Uh, jokes aside, I know it's funny, but uh, not. It's not funny that he's sick. It's funny the way he's recording it. Uh, but listen, man, I, I I respect the hustle, right? And he's sick, so definitely send good vibes at the homie way. I hope the homie recovers because uh, he used to make videos every single day back in the days, and I, and I miss that, right? You know what I'm saying? Like he used to cover the drama too. Sometimes he would defend Activision, and that was kind of hilarious. That would that would create like different kind of drama, right? Natural. I appreciate you. You're the only one on Twitch. I appreciate you, man. Uh, uh, one hour for every uh, hour that was off like <laughs> but they're not doing that way they're like we're just gonna give you one hour of double xp though skizzle you see the cheating monitor made by yeah bro i made a video on it like i believe two three weeks ago at this point yeah bro it's getting really bad out there timothy what's outage and disruption in people's purchases and unlocks is definitely something that should not have happened i don't think it's something that activision or microsoft wanted to happen yeah and i don't know if this is related to microsoft buying activision and their layoffs or not it's yeah. definitely easy to say hey a couple weeks after you know microsoft laid off i think it was what 1900 uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, it's a pretty big uh -huh. number pulling purely from memory right there um after they laid off all those people not too much later the servers went down well, it's definitely a bad look. I don't know if they're related. I don't know if they fired the live service team or if this was an error that was building for the last five years and nobody noticed. So it'd be a little bit intellectually lazy for me to say that, but it certainly looks bad and suspicious. But sadly, all this frustration sadly. about losing your unlocks and things that you are- You know what sadly is a very, very precious word to Call of Duty refugees and Call of Duty community. How many times you said sadly when you were talking about Call of Duty. Just, just give me a number in the comments, okay? Raise your hands, don't be shy, don't be shy. I see you in the comments. Yo, wet Mick Ford, you kill. How you doing, brother? Welcome on in, man. And yeah, bro, that one guy, Fox, bro, that, that MSI monitor, holy crap, bro. Uh, and that's nothing, bro. Like, we got DMA cheats, although they are old, but now they are, like, really making the round. And there was, like, another video. I will have a new video later on tonight. I'm not sure which one I want to drop, but uh, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna spoil it, but... 
either one or the two if we get if we have a cheating video tonight then that would be tonight if not then i would have that tomorrow uh but yeah man there is a lot of chill a billion gazillion yeah call of duty's quick drifter was my guy in advanced warfare dog he yeah man i'm not sure what happened to him though like he's sick actually but uh, i hope he recovers though get well soon man. are only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to live service game problems so I wanted uh -huh. to talk about some other lingering problems as well, but only after we talk about today's sponsor, very <laughs> briefly. Oh, okay, so I think he's talking about his setup. Right now, uh, you can find links down there below, and I believe Code Drifter is 5% off. So now we're pulling back from the- but Yeah, he's talking about like his uh, sleeping setup right now with, with recording. That is insane. It's, it's hilarious, but I mean, it works, man. It works, so it works. A so. sponsored segment and sponsored stuff you aside, want it? I, I want it very too, happy with my little tiny setup and all the Logitech things. They're getting smaller and smaller and I can fit in here. But let's go back to talking about live service games. Another thing that's oh, hitting crap. me personally right now is how overwhelming live service games can be, and it's especially when you're not playing them. And I'll repeat the same word. Call of Duty is especially bad at this with its unintuitive menus and unlock systems. As you can see, I'm recording this from the bed as a little yeah. ultra mini health update. <laughs> Things have been going a Dude. lot better for me over the last oh, three months, but for reasons unknown to me, the last three weeks have been a little bit rougher. So I'm not oh, gaming as much as I want to, and I feel like I'm falling behind on everything. Yay. And I'm falling behind not necessarily in terms of base gameplay or skill level. I'm but, but like, honestly though, playing FPS games is like riding a bicycle, right? Yeah, you might be rusty if you stop uh, biking and you went, go back to it like after like 10 years. You might be a little bit rusty, but you just gotta play, uh, you just gotta ride the bike just like once or twice and you're back to normal, man. Like your gamer skills are, you're not gonna be uh, catching that rust. I uh, like the video if you're great. Can, uh, can you say hi, Freddy? You want a Freddy? I see you, Freddy. What's good, Freddy? How you doing, Freddy? Let me actually say this like that. Hi, Freddy. What's good, Freddy? How you doing, man? All right, man, hopefully you're happy right now. Uh, I like how everybody on X is putting FTC is wasting taxpayers' uh, money uh, taking Microsoft to court. But look, who is looking after the 1900 staff who got laid off? Yes, taxpayer. <laughs> Uh, yeah, true, but also like today, uh, I, I know like the Xbox would be fuming right now uh, if I do not mention that, but I mean, it's a fact. Even PlayStation just laid off like 900 employees today though. So I, I mean, I, we were talking about this previously, I'm gonna still say it because it's the goddamn truth, you know it. These corporations seriously don't care about you and I, they don't care about anybody, they don't don't care about their employees' well-being, you are just a dollar sign, you're just a number in the, the cog, that's how they view you, you and I as, and that's also how they view their employees as. You know, if you're not making them the money, there you can go pound sand. The customers uh, always right? No, customers always wrong. Or customers always right till they are buying in the video game industry till they're buying the microtransactions. It's all about the money. Xbox, PlayStation, they seriously don't care about none of us though. None of us, man. Uh, like, Sony Ponies Xbox, I do agree that they bring us, like, a lot of the sauce content. And you know what? Bring it in. Like, honestly, like, if that ever stops, like, it's gonna be quite, like, depressing living, uh, you know. Because right now, we aren't even getting games. So, Sony Ponies and Xbox kind of keep it alive. Although, it's kind of, like, slowing down. The rumors that said that Xbox game is gonna come on PlayStation, that brought in a lot of sauce. But right now, that also kind of slowed down. So, I kind of, I kind of miss that. I, I, I genuinely hate it when people like really really get mad over like uh uh, but it's like their thing. I mean, they can get mad, whatever. But it's like, it's kind of pathetic, right? Like, you get mad over a company that's like, don't even care much. That don't even know that you exist. It's one of those things. But it's like, we love the sauce. We love the sauce. So, you know, for example, that 38-year-old man. I always bring that example up. Because it's like, I never seen a 38-year-old man cry over a cry on camera over a rumor that Xbox games might come to PlayStation. <laughs> If you know what I'm talking about, uh, one in the comments. If you do not know what I'm talking about, drop a two. I, I guess you gotta take my word for it. Yeah, there was a guy that uh, 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 looked like he was blessed with five kids, right? No ill will towards the guy. We're just attacking the ideas, not the people. You, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, souls know it. That one guy knows it. Yeah, bro. Like, 38-year-old man. Like, I mean, damn. If you were 16, I get it. But, like, you know, it's funny. It's, it's, it's funny. It's just as funny. 38-year-old man crying over a rumor that xbox games might come to playstation and yes they are coming but the initial rumor that uh, initial rumor was that we're gonna be getting starfield on the on the playstation but phil said that 
Sony ponies are not gonna get it. Sony ponies are not gonna get it. So I'm pretty sure he's uh, probably uh, uh, feeling uh, like thank God, right? Brad, now that was wildly if I remember you covering that. It was hilarious, bro. Like, there's no other way to put it. It was pathetic. It was sad. But it was, uh, most importantly, it was hilarious, though. So I, I, I definitely want to see moments like that for sure. Makes for some good content, right? But objectively speaking, if I was not doing YouTube, I would be like, bro, like, come on, man. You're a grown man. Like, bro, like, why? Like, why you do that? But as a YouTuber, I want to see more of those moments. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Able to keep up in that regard, but rather with what content I'm experiencing and how it is what unlocked. Because in how order to man? maximize the value of a live service game, you probably need to play it every single day. You unlock true, all the stuff, true, true. you do all the events, you do the community challenges, etc., etc. You swap over to the other modes for the zombies or for the war zone or whatever and come back to multiplayer. Uh, but when you're not gaming every day, when you're not really living that environment, it feels impossible to access things that you want because you log yeah. in and there's a giant grind wall you log in and everybody else already has the stuff or you wanted to see the event but with, with fortnite i truly do feel that uh whenever i go back to it like once in a blue moon i do feel with that what, what is that one game that makes you you know uh feel that way it makes you feel like this way where you know what you stop playing it for let's just say like a couple of months you go back to it and all of a sudden you feel like that you are on a different planet and it makes you feel like that you gotta it, and it makes you feel like that you're lost because there has been so much new content in the game that you do not even know where to start where to look for and you feel like that now i gotta watch like 10 billion videos in order to catch up with all the content and you do not know how to unlock this this and that what is that one game uh alex says death Destiny 2 makes you okay uh, destiny 2 for me it gotta be fortnite because i don't play it and whenever i go back to it i feel that way call of duty it's like yeah you got some skins here and there but most of them mostly all of them are behind a paywall so it's like i'm not missing anything out right i know for the fact that i'm not gonna buy them because it's a waste of money I rather invest that money you feel what i'm saying uh they don't care because the people still buying the dying game because it's an addiction and they're locked in damn that's what the homie wet uh uk says uh carry i see you brother timothy what's good timothy drop in one you use and abuse their employees and they say bye exactly my brother exactly you missed it or you know last week was we'll just pick a random example Minecraft? walking dead and call of duty or something and you're like yeah i'd really like to Sign in and check out. Does Minecraft really get content though? Like, I, I know it's a big game, but I never really played it actually. Oh. Yay! Does Minecraft really get like uh, content to the point where it's kind of hard? What the hell is he streaming laying down? <laughs> Rashan, yeah, you're coming in a little bit late. We talked about it. Yeah, the homie is actually sick. Uh, so not making fun of the sickness, but it, the, the the setup is kind of hilarious. Like the homie sleeping though. The homie really sleeping though. Natural says that yeah, it gets updates. A paywall. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. okay. The Rick and Michonne event. Homie sleeping right now. Maybe maybe life happens and you're just four days later. You log in and another live update has rolled out that's pumping homelander or yeah. uh, some other celebrity or something like that and it's very hard to keep up with because it's all coming out very 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 fast and it makes me feel like i'm missing out on a lot of content even though i'm still active enough in the game to retain yeah. gameplay competency i'm not active enough to really experience that much of it uh, even if it's content that doesn't change the base gameplay that much, I still feel like I'm missing out. And I think this yeah, is- Honestly, this uh, setup low-key kind of slaps. Thoughts, guys? Another boomer complaint. Years ago when Battle Passes first boomer. came out, I heard a ton of older gamers talk about how frustrating it was to have to pay to get unlocks or pay to get the pass, and then you had to grind and you had to play all the time and they didn't have time to play all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I didn't agree then. Obviously, I had a different experience and experiencing that sort of um, feeling of falling behind has changed my perspective. Mm -hmm. But I do believe, and if we're mostly talking about Fortnite here, live service games have evolved greatly since the early days of fortnite those early fortnite yeah. battle pass but i still feel like that because like uh uh maybe you guys uh would disagree and that's perfectly fine you can tell me like which game is better than uh i mean uh Okay, let's not say that. Uh, what I was gonna say is that to me, it feels like that Fortnite still is one of the game. Not saying it's the best game out there, but I'm saying it's one of the best live service games in a way where it gets like a lot of content. And when I say a lot of content, it gets a lot of content, but a lot of the content that is perceived very well by the community 
And as somebody that very rarely plays, even I look at it and I'm like, damn, like they're getting collapsed with this guy, that fool. They're having events left and right. To me, it feels like that Fortnite is one of those games that has uh, one of the best live service. Uh, you agree, you disagree. If you got like another game in mind that does it better, definitely like drop it in the comments. Uh, yeah, Wilson, I'm streaming through shorts. Uh, uh, what's up, man? How you doing, Wilson? How you doing, man? Uh, what is your PSN skills like to game together on PlayStation? Bro, I rarely get time to play. And whenever I, I play, I, I usually just play solo. I, I put, like, uh, a podcast, watch YouTube video in the background. So while I'm catching up on the videos, I would like, okay, I'm, let me let me game uh, a little bit. Other than that, I barely do. Uh, my apologies. I, I used to do open lobbies, but that were, like, years ago. I would do, like, streams and do open lobbies, but those were in the younger days. Like, I'm 27 right now, and let me tell you, man, not trying to complain here like i'm blessed to be in the position i'm in and i'm doing a lot of good things outside of youtube uh, i got two channels uh like i do I, I also got my selling business on the side uh which is an uh, which is doing all right okay sometimes it booms sometimes it doesn't but whatever right like uh so i got like a lot of things in real life just like how you guys would have your shit uh uh like every which way right so i barely get time to play bobby otherwise like if if i was if youtube was the only thing i was doing though so uh if youtube was the only thing i would 100 percent uh, it killed me too. Uh, dudes, literally, that one, the one thing Halo Infinite did right is keep every single battle pass available. No FOMO and no force to play all of them. Uh, I'm 37 and still have time to game. Yo, sadly, I, I don't, man. I, yeah, I mean, I want to be like you too, bro, but like, I barely get time, man. This is those early Call of Duty battle passes, those really rudimentary once a month upgrade kind of things are now comically slow and behind. Big games put out new stuff almost every single week, sometimes twice a week, huge updates every month, if not every, uh, and then maybe even bigger ones every quarter, new maps coming out, new stuff. Uh, just every time I log on, there's dozens and dozens of new things going on. And it feels like it's accelerated uh, at least 10 times over what it was five or six years ago. I got a wife with a girlfriend on the side. Okay, okay, what? What? No. Okay, it took me a minute till I let that sink in in me, bro. What? You got a wife with a GF on the side. Damn. Okay, well, uh, nah, bro. That's haram, bro. That's haram. I would not play Don DeMarco. I would not. The, this sound effect, I will not play, bro. I will absolutely not. Nah, honestly, bro, like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, listen, I I'm nobody, but like, uh, bro, that's, uh, <laughs> come on, man. I mean, I get it. Like, a brother got, like, two needs money and pom pom, but it's like, damn, man. Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I hope she doesn't find out, uh, I guess. Uh, I guess, but, uh, but I mean, make sure you treat the main queen as the main queen, right? Like, at the end of the day, like, that's what I'll... Uh, I got my side chick, a side chick, so she got company for when I'm there. Okay, okay. Brothers be out there cheating, though. Brothers be cheating out there. Come on, man, smash the like button. Uh, but listen, man, if you're Muslim, though, you can marry four chicks. That, that, that's like, that's halal. That's halal. And I'm a Muslim, though. Doesn't mean that I will, but uh, you, you know what, the, the thing is that you need to tell your wife. You cannot be cheating around. For example, if you marry a chick, right? And if you're planning to have four wives, you gotta tell your main wife that, hey man, can I marry a second one? And if she gives you a go ahead, 99% of the time she won't. And if you do that, then that's haram, bro. That's like, you know, you go to hell, you know? <laughs> but if she gives you the, the thumbs up that, yeah, you can go ahead and marry another one. Uh, you can bring in another uh, sister for me and uh, we're gonna be cool. Then yeah, you can do it. And you gotta be like fair with both, right? I know it sounds hilarious, but like, uh, you know what? Uh, God understand, God created men, so God understands men. Uh, he knows that a man God needs, uh, so God has made this beautiful system, uh, and I appreciate that, but, but, but like, you, you need to be fair, first of all, you need to be able to provide equally for four wives, uh, and, uh, you, you gotta be fair, and if you can be fair, and you can provide for the four wives, then, and if the four, and all three wives, you gotta understand, to be able to get to the fourth wife, you gotta understand all the, the the prior three wives need to give you like a sign okay like they need to give you a thumbs up they need to agree uh if they show like a hesitation like uh not nah, eh, eh, you gotta pump the brakes and then you cannot marry all of a sudden okay? yeah it's kind of crazy though so uh yo lp thank you for smashing like yeah uh like and subscribe for the the, the pro tips out here man uh minecraft okay now that's on you what what okay twitch is giving me a notification right now okay play it roll it on top of that, console and PC games are feeling increasingly like mobile games. 
True, one of the true, number facts, one reasons facts. I don't play many mobile facts. games is that when I log in, every mobile game has tons and tons of pop-ups for me to click X to scroll through because it wants me to buy things and sign up for this pass and that pass and this special deal and that points and these energies. But it's kind of getting the same when I log into my console games or my PC games. Uh, Call of Duty is definitely like that. There's oh, tons of new oh. content. We got to unlock this. We got to do this daily uh, challenge. Stop the camera. Stop the cap. Uh, technically, he's not wrong to get a ton of content in Call of Duty, but that's always locked behind a paywall, okay? That, I don't view that as content. I mean, in a $70 game plus taxes, because all of us forget about the taxes, it's $70 USD plus taxes, okay? In Canada, it gets up to 105 okay? 105 if I if I'm paying 105 bucks give or take almost right like not gonna count the sensor uh, but like if I'm paying for that and then you put in content where you're asking me to pay again for that I'm sorry I do not view that as content you guys can disagree with me though you know what you can cancel me if you want but I don't view that as content that's like if, bruh like if it's a free to play game okay then maybe I can give you a little bit of leg room but even then I personally would not buy like one skin for $20 come on bro like get the f out with that bro uh, one skin for $20 now nah. oh hell no, but if it's a free-to-play game I understand you got to make money. So, okay, but uh, personally like I'm good as is though uh, An Anuki created man not God though. Uh, what's that? Okay. I heard about Anuki, but I'm not sure what exactly is that I mean listen man I'm not here to debate yeah, like whatever rocks your boat. Whatever sounds good to you go for it though. So uh, Yeah, I I'm a I'm a religious guy. I'm a, I'm a believer in God. I'm a believer in God. You are not hey, man you are not simple as that you know what i'm saying and that's perfectly fine though that's perfectly fine you do you i'm gonna do me you know uh cats are dodgy what's good man call of duty is like a bad waiter uh that's asking for a service uh charge and tip yeah bro like that's exactly they're like uh uh they would be like you know what you it's like mcdonald's right you would go to the checkout and you and they would be like oh sir so you want to pay tips you isn't it crazy that even in like normal grocery shops now they would ask you for tip it's like those things didn't even serve you anything right tipping culture is really getting out of hands is really i mean the seconds would look you different they would look you like you're uh, you ask them for their kidneys if you do not tip like holy shit man like why though you know what i'm saying like i'm also i'm not i'm not that rich either bro you know what i'm saying like i'm not like rolling in uh, i'm not like an oil prince right now you feel what i'm saying uh but the vertical in tv look ass Oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. You gotta watch on mobile. On mobile, this is mobile friendly stream. I'm, I'm live on Twitch at the same time as well, where we got full screen. You appreciate all of you, uh, all of you for dropping 50 likes, man. Thank you all, man. Vertical, I love it. I know why you love it, bruh, man. I know why you love it, bro. I know why you love it, man. I know why you love it, man. Uh, but yeah, vertical streaming is the the vibe though. It's the it's the vibe. It's kind of it's a lot more convenient because normally I never really stream, and because of the vertical, I'm like, okay, let me let me let me just uh, let me just stream a little bit. If you don't tip uh, in the UK, yeah, I mean, shout out to the UK, man. Nothing but love, man. Nothing but love. I I, ho I wish it gets uh, to be like this uh, here as well. Like uh, like seriously, man. Everywhere you go, you gotta pay tips. It's like food is so expensive. I don't even go outside uh, that more. You know, I, I was in Lahore, Pakistan, in my hometown. I was going out literally every night, every night. You know why? Because like <laughs> the, when you uh, change currency, like from dollars to rupees, there. You're an oil prince. You're balling. You're balling. This is why, like, in my prior streams, I said that, bro. Like, yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm a rich guy in my country, but I'm like a brokey in Canada. You feel what I'm saying? Like, middle class is crying right now. The taxes and all that crap. Holy shit, man. So I don't even go out that much. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm an introvert, but I can be extrovert. I mean, I was going out literally every day when I was in my home country. Because, uh, you know, it was kind of balling. Like, with my homies, with my family, you know what I'm saying? The, the nightlife was kind of lit. So you go that place, you go this place, you go that place, this place. You know, it's kind of amazing that way. But you can't. You're going to see a lot more uh, foot traffic about three times. Okay, got you. Yo, uh, I str this is, I believe, my fourth uh, stream. So, yeah. Yo, what up, Venus? How you doing, brother? Challenge. Hey, check out this new operator skin. The battle pass has some stuff going on. It's a non-linear battle pass now and keeps getting more and more complex to the point that I feel overwhelmed by this. I feel like it's difficult for me to just log on 
Uh, but yo, Brahmin, like, what have, uh, what's your experience been with vertical streaming? Like, do you think that those, uh, the subscribers you gain are gonna, like, watch your normal videos? Yeah or nay? What has been your experience? Or you still don't know? Still crazy how your videos be one take, uh, too talented? Uh, bro, like, it took me a while. I remember, like, it used to take me, like, eight hours to edit videos. And then it's like, I got down to finally do it. And I'm talking about, like, two, three years ago. It would take me, like, two, three hours of solid editing. I used to edit videos every day every day you know record uh, research record upload every day edit upload every day it would take me all day right now i'm still taking all day to make videos and that but i have upped the frequency you know i got like another channel i'm working on as well and uh for the most part i do one take but sometimes if i fail instead of editing i would like restart the entire recording so sometimes it take me more than one take but i'm really getting to the point where it would take one take because i try to do the the the, the pre-work right like just know the topic uh read the comments uh see what what the topic is all about just research beforehand before recording and, and uh, yeah bro right now i'm getting to the point where it's like one take so uh yeah it took a while man it took a while man it took a it took a long time i remember your videos were were hardcore edited yeah absolutely right now it's uh not that much edited I, I do it like live on the spot, you know what I'm saying? Play my game and ignore all of these other things going on because they're a part of the live service environment. But conversely, playing a live service game every single day can be exhausting. And I'm not talking true, about true, exhausting true. in terms of effort or physical ability, which is true of me because my problems have problems, but rather exhausting in terms of the never ending hype cycle. And this is a good one to talk about Call of Duty with because Call of Duty has run on a never ending hype cycle for a very long time. And for almost a decade, it was unique in the gaming industry for that reason. There were other games that were hype. Halo, you know, GTA, Minecraft, huge, huge hype. Man, whenever GTA 6 drops, it that's it though. Like GTA 6 is gonna be that game. We're also hearing about the next Battlefield game, which I'm gonna dive in just a little bit. Uh, the homie Nacho on Twitch says that I've gotten 25 plus subs off of one YouTube short. A lot of people are watching shorts more. I do agree with that. Uh, and I think this is why it's hurting like the long form videos. I know gaming is in a very low spot. So it happens all the time. Like I've been doing YouTube for a while. So I know like it's, uh, it, it's kind of like the season right like when the season is right you're gonna get a lot of views on normal videos when the season is down right now nobody really cares about call of duty though you, you feel what i'm saying so the views are down literally for everybody and that's fine though it's that uh, they're gonna get back up uh but shorts i also feel like that shorts are also killing like long form videos because whenever i hop on youtube uh, my, um, 50 percent of my home screen be without me scrolling okay before i start scroll uh, 50 percent off it is overtaken by shorts if the shorts weren't there i would be seeing like a lot more long form videos from like uh the, the people that i'm sub to or the videos that i like watching you feel what i'm saying so shorts are killing in a way uh long form youtube and shorts are not making money that much and the subs you gain from the shorts for, uh, from my experience and from what I'm seeing right now, it's not helping the, the long form videos though. Uh, but Brahman said they're still testing it out, but I noticed my horizontal streams uh, for three four hours, uh, uh, three hours, average 7 to 10k a stream. But if I stream for 1.3 hours vertical, I will have 28k foot traffic. Haven't checked analytics. Okay, all right. I private my streams afterwards now. Uh, I, I don't and uh, uh, after I can tell you that, like uh, they get very good AVD, very good watch time after the fact. Uh, and they would get like views from the normal so uh, from my experience uh, uh making them public right after is not a bad thing uh but i'm still testing it as well uh, manico what's good man do you think shorts are better than tiktok I, I mean i don't hop on tiktok other than if i want to upload my tiktok uh but uh i don't know man i don't know i i, I mean i gotta it's one of those things right you gotta adapt you gotta adapt uh, but but in a perfect world, I feel like that shorts and TikTok shouldn't be uh, shouldn't shouldn't be because it's lowering attention span of viewers and everybody, right? Like it's uh it's like <laughs> it's like quick dopamine though, you know? It's uh and it's also hurting the long form videos as well. And the long form videos are the one that's gonna bring a lot of money. But I guess I, YouTube knows that. I mean, they got more data, but they are doing it because they need to compete with uh, with, with TikTok, right? Because uh, if they cannot have something like that of TikTok. Uh, they're gonna lose those people and 
YouTube don't want to lose the TikTok viewers. They want to attract TikTok viewers in hoping, in hopes of that those viewers will also check out the long, uh, long videos. But if you're a YouTuber, I guess you gotta adapt. I mean, if you got a, like a, a channel which is pulling like millions and millions of views per month and you're not doing shorts, then I mean, don't, you don't have to because uh, at the end of the day, it depends on the type of content. Like I was watching a channel that's pulling like 100 million views from uh, uh, on YouTube monthly crazy numbers most of them are shorts but whenever he uploads long form videos i mean the long form videos are doing very good those are like the try not to laugh cha uh, challenge videos and uh, the meme videos but there are a lot of channels that you know what they would get millions and millions of views on the shorts but they would not get their views on the long form videos why because uh youtube is not sending the videos out to the people that watch their shorts if that uh, if that makes sense feel me uh we got chris coming on twitch yo skizla i'm from youtube yo chris welcome on it what's up man welcome on it if you are on YouTube, definitely give uh, Twitch a follow. Uh, Twitch full screen YouTube uh, vertical. But whenever there's like an event or uh, something happening, uh, I will do like a full screen stream for sure. But for these off the cuff stream, we're doing it vertical, right? Adapt and shoot, uh, shoot the ropes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Amber, feel me. Okay, feel me, but don't feel me too deep. Now I'm saying. I still love uh, that would be kind of gay though, uh, but uh, no homo for sure, but uh, uh, back to the days where they made games for the gamers. Uh, those days are long gone. Okay, back to the topic at hand. The homie got a sleeping setup though. Roll it. Hype games, but they didn't operate on this guaranteed yearly cycle. Call okay. of Duty had a yearly hype cycle that competed with those games year after year after year, and it would start with leaks in the spring, then reveals in the summer, previews and betas, game comes out, and then we're getting ready for the next hype cycle. Other games didn't really operate like that. Yeah. But now yeah, that yeah. Call of Duty is primarily a live service game, as most are these days, it feels like Sadly. they added on top of that several mini hype cycles that happen every year. There's a mini hype cycle for a new content release. There's a mini hype cycle for the new season. There's a mini hype cycle for- They did add, but do you guys get ha, hyped for Call of Duties, uh, Call of Duties anymore? Are, are you guys excited for the next Call of Duty? I, I'm not excited, but I'm intrigued. I, I, I hope it's good, because if it is, then I'm gonna get it. If it's not, then no biggie, right? Yo, say it, shout out to you, my man. How you doing, man? Uh, Skill up personally, I think pointless streaming just playing a game it's more now about a personality who wants to sit down and watch someone play a game gamers usually play games who's uh, in the time uh, i would personally uh, listen i agree with you for me personally and from my experience but i disagree in the overall grand scheme of things what i mean by this is that what you're saying actually does apply to me and, and I think it makes sense why you would say that because I think you're saying this because obviously I'm not playing a game or well, whenever I play a game I, I see a dip in viewers like people leave why I, I know that I mean listen even I do not watch uh, other streams for their gameplay I I don't I'm that I, I think we're uh, we're kind of like same in a way and it's kind of like one of those things the algorithm knows you better than you would ever know yourself so I guess if you're watching my shit right now you're probably I guess give or take you would agree with what I have to say and we both of us kind of have almost kind of like the same points in a way it doesn't mean that we're gonna agree on everything uh we're probably gonna disagree i'm pretty sure like a lot of you guys would disagree with a lot of things i have to say and that's perfectly fine uh but but uh, the the thing is that like i feel you on that one like uh i i agree with that like uh, whenever i game I, I see viewers dip so this is why i don't do the honest honest to god this is the the real reason why i don't do gameplay streams i really don't do that uh, if it's a new game for example gta 6 when that ever comes out 100% I will stream that I will stream that I will play that game till you guys are interested But when you guys are not interested, I'm not gonna I mean I'm gonna play in my free time But definitely not on like uh, the YouTube's uh, feel me is that RTX 4060 a good card? Uh, yeah, I mean d depends on what card you got right now uh, in comparison if you got like a like a very old card in that comparison Yeah, it would be but I would say like instead of 4060 get like 470 But then somebody would like hey man Why not get 4080 then the other guy would be like oh bro like why not get 4090 and then someone else would like wait a little bit Get 5090 instead, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, but it depends it depends uh, what what card you currently have let me know man the finale or for some event and the same is true of every other game on the planet so it's not necessarily a criticism of call of duty but the gaming environment in general because every single game now is hitting you with something new that you're supposed to be excited about yeah at yeah, least yeah. weekly even single player games are running on the battle pad they did like a battle pass for doom if i'm not mistaken which is very curious 
And I will say that for games that are PVE, like we'll talk like Helldivers or Deep uh -huh, Rock Galactic uh -huh, uh -huh. and stuff like that, having rapid updates to change the enemies that you fight is very good. It's very important. It helps. It prevents things from getting stale. So I'm here for that. But it doesn't have to be that way for every single game. And what happens to me... Is I, I do agree, but it's like we really getting to the point where the companies just want to make money. They just want to make more money than God. Nothing matters anymore. Fire the devs. Fire everybody if they're not bringing in the money. Uh, and it's a corporate. It's a corporation, right? It kind of makes sense for them to fire people that don't bring in the money. But it's like obviously is uh, pathetic when you see people defend these corporations. These corporations don't even give a damn about you. It, it's just about money. Uh, Chris on Twitch says that you did you see that reddit ceo made 193 million dollars last year when all the moderators work for free i have not but i'm not shocked i'm not surprised i mean like what do you expect oh like, my god uh that's how it is that's how it is um like the one percent of the one percent makes most amount of money they control the large amount of money in the entire world uh you feel what i'm saying there are people in this world and when I say people, I mean a large percent, over 50% I was watching a video. Uh, I don't remember the exact percentage, but it was 100% over 50%. Uh, a large po population makes $2 a day. Bruh. $2 a day. Uh, and I'm talking about people in like different countries where $2 is worth a lot, uh, a lot of money as well. Uh, it's still, it's not a lot of money, but those $2 would make sure that they stay alive. Doesn't mean they would be comfortable. It doesn't mean that they would be happy with it. Surely they're not happy with $2 a day, uh, but uh, they would stay alive. You know, it's one of those things. And, and man, the rabbit hole goes so deep, bro. Like <laughs> the, the second you take birth or you accept, I mean, we never get to accept birth. You're just born and you're here, right? Uh, I, I mean, in the first world countries, they would make sure like in school, like I'm not sure about you guys, uh, but like in school, they would give you like free like milk. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in Canada, so uh, education's kind of free. They would make sure you get uh, get up to, like, uh, get up to the point where you can uh, work a job. Because the school system teaches you to work for somebody. They, they want to make you, in all reality, they just want to make you a taxpayer of their country. Because you're, you're, a, you're a taxpayer. I'm a taxpayer, you're a taxpayer, we're all taxpayers. So, I'm not shocked when uh, I see you say that that Reddit CEO made 193, uh, $193 million uh, and all the moderators work for free. I mean, that's how the, 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 the chain goes, man. 1% of the 1%. I'll uh, be getting less if you ask me. Uh, yeah, the PK salaries are so trash. Yeah, bro, it is It is ridiculously trash. Uh, uh, Hassan thinks that job won't drain your social battery. And you know what? We got a topic. I got a video I want to talk about it in a bit. Is that after You know what? Let's actually jump on to the next video, okay? So I'm not sure which video... You you know what while we're on this topic most delusional streamer ever roll it so there is this streamer out there named Hassan I'm sure many of you know who he is some of you probably like him others might hate him like many political figures online he is polarizing you see Hassan has been around this internet game for quite some time and over the years he has become increasingly more progressive with his views and at this point, I would describe him as basically alt-left. Like, even yep, Ethan yep. Klein, who has become very much a leftist, couldn't deal with his nonsense. Actually, you know what? Go listen to his song. People say, I need to go... How left uh, the man got? Okay, how much more left can you possibly get that even the homie Ethan would disagree? Listen to his song. This is bullshit. Please, go listen to his song. And over the past couple of days, Hassan has now been going viral on Twitter. After he made the take that streaming is harder than any other job. Okay, let's settle this real quick, okay? I already know the answer, but uh, I wanna I don't wanna say it just yet, okay? I will give you my take. Maybe I'll get canceled, but here's the take, here's the take, okay? I wanna give you the power uh, to all the people that are watching the video. Uh, welcome on in, like the video, subscribe if you're brand new, but is streaming a hard job? Is it hard? Do you think it's harder than most jobs? One if yes, two if not. I wanna, I wanna see where you guys are at, okay? Uh, Resmark, what's good, man? How you doing, brother? You too funny to hear a millionaire complain about streaming. Uh, I love you. Okay, and, and I will give you my take. I, listen, man. Streaming is definitely not easy. Uh, and as somebody, and I'm not a streamer, by the way. Like, uh, I'm starting to stream. It's not easy, right? But it's not the hardest thing ever. <laughs> it's not. Okay, it's not the hardest thing ever. It's not easy. It takes a lot of time. I guess every job in this world requires time, okay? Uh, we're all, 
all of you watching, myself included, whether I'm making videos, uh, I make videos every single day for uh, two channels, so, so every waking hour is dedicated to thinking about the idea, making the video, uh, and uh, putting it out there, right? Every waking hour goes for me in that. Time consuming, yes, but every job is time consuming. So, uh, there are positives and negatives to everything, right? For example, if you're working a real, like, let's just say, quote unquote, real job, physical job uh, outside, if you're working for somebody, then 110%. Uh, you got positives and you got negatives. The negatives are you got to do what your boss tells you to do. It can be a good thing, can be a bad thing. It depends on how you take it, right? It's just about how you take it. Some people would view that as good. Uh, some people would view that as bad. Now, the positive from that is that you are told what to do. So you don't have to think about it. You just do it. And once your job is done, you're done. You peace out and you don't have to think about your job. There was a meme where, you know, a building is exploding. And, and then uh, the guy just don't care. He's just like walking with a smile on his face. And the building that was on fire was his workplace. The meme was about, hey, the workplace, the workplace is crumbling. The boss is going crazy. But because <laughs> you are done with the hour, you're going home. So that's a positive because once you are done with your job, you don't have to think about the job. You can switch your brain off. Uh, with uh, any of you that are self-employed, uh, whether that's like making content or uh, whatever. Self-employed doesn't mean content, right? With self-employed, man, the positive is that you set your own hours. You're the own boss. You're your own boss. You get to decide when you want to wake up sleep all that positives absolutely the negative is that you can never turn your brain off right it's uh, one of those things and while we're at it what is uh what job uh what's your job title guys uh what what do you work for for a living one but it depends on how much you do uh and also it's another thing right like i'm a mid-tier streamer like the big tier for example hassan i would i would consider him an elite tier streamer he's making the millions and millions of dollars most people would take that okay they would be like whether it's hard or not i'm gonna I'm a stream for a year make my million and i'm a i'm a skirt i'm a peace out right uh, but but here's the thing though like uh, most people cannot get to top tier and elite tier so that's the hard thing but streaming in a nutshell not the hardest thing ever up at least from a social battery draining standpoint yes Davis a real Eons. job can be gruesome a real job can make you very tired but a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you you know what i mean in the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will. Now, uh, uh, don't stream for nine hours, bro. Like, I'm starting to stream. I usually would stream for three hours. And yeah, I'm tired after streaming. But it's like, I, I know myself. I don't want to go beyond, right? You know what I'm saying? Unless you're working for yourself. it's and, and here's the thing, though. Streaming is like working for yourself. And I will tell you this, though. Like, working for yourself, making videos. And when you succeed, it's a lot hell a more, more rewarding than working for somebody else. You feel like it's one of those things, like I said. Like, positives and negatives. Every job subjectively speaking uh every job is hard objectively uh not every job is hard not every job is created equal uh bhai needs to go on ari digital uh yeah what's good man t1 you in pakistan right okay so bhai john tiktok uh skizzle needs to needs a spot on ptv yo uh when you work your deal with the same social uh draining shies it's uh uh two it's a mental a mental mentally thing but not physically yeah it's a mental thing it's uh, i i agree with that because i make videos uh every single day um i'm a mid-tier content creator i'm not elite i'm not uh like top tier what i mean by top mid and elite is that elite is making the millions and millions of dollars top tier is is you know what making so much money that they don't have to think about putting out content on a daily basis mid tier like me i can surely take a day or two off and it's gonna be fine but i choose to not but that's me though that's me though i love working uh and i love uh working every waking hour you know what i'm saying uh not like physically but like in my mind like thinking about what to do next and the, the moves it's like a chess game you feel what i'm saying but uh it's not the hardest thing but it, it, it's mentally draining but it's uh but so is like everybody else's job in a way too it, it's it depends man for example you're working at mcdonald's uh, that can be mentally draining because you might hit your boss you might not like working and you know that you don't have any other option you gotta be there because you gotta put food on the table right so we can argue that that's also mentally draining because you don't love that shit man you just uh, uh you're there you're working because you need the money nothing wrong with that it's uh it's how it is man like yeah you want to find like something else and then you want to uh quit from that right uh it's easy I, I the way i view it is that every you gotta respect the hustle man i respect the hustle for uh, uh whether you do content creation uh the only thing i don't respect is if you show your butthole on only fans that i do not respect okay Bruh. <laughs> I, I don't i mean listen uh you do you 
but I don't respect that. I don't respect that. You do you, but I don't respect that. Uh, other than that, I, I value and respect a lot of the jobs. Uh, man, it's not easy to stream and make money. It's all mental. Uh, if you have tried streaming, uh, you, I mean, I'm not saying, listen, I'm streaming right now too. Like I make content every day. It's not easy, uh, but it's not the hardest thing ever. It's hard, but it's not the hardest. Uh, I guess it depends. It, it really depends. Maintenance technician, uh, home inspector, my job title. Oh, God. Gotcha. Oh, damn, son. Uh, like, you home inspect? Uh, you really home inspect? Do you home inspect or you inspect other... Uh... Okay, no, I don't want to say that on the, on the YouTube's name. Uh, I don't want to... It's... Okay, let's play this. Just off the bat, I find his take to be not only very privileged but also just not based in reality. And with yeah, this yeah, being yeah. Hassan and so many people disliking him, anytime he gives people this type of ammo with just a stupid take, it's essentially like that scene from SpongeBob where it's like, how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? You know, everyone gets <laughs> yeah. their turn with the beating stick and they're essentially just passing this guy around, completely trashing him. Now in uh, Yeah, absolutely. Streaming is better than slavery. And also, like, I'm Pakistani. So Pakistan is considered third world country. No disrespect. That's my country. And I know. And that's a fact. Objectively. I wish... It was not, but it is, okay? So no disrespect. Uh, I believe T1, you're also in Pakistan uh, or from Pakistan, so you would vouch. A and I have a different perspective than somebody like Hassan, right? Because uh, I'm very privileged. Listen, man, the way I view it is that if you, if, you're, if you got an internet connection and you're watching the stream and you're able to stream, you're blessed, man. I know, we all got our problems, shit, man. Like, we all got problems. But we are really blessed. I'm really fortunate. I'm really blessed. Uh, cause I, 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 I mean, listen, I've seen people live like on $2, okay? Sometimes not even on $2 and they always put a big ass smile on their face. Uh, you, you, or they try to at least, uh, surely they want to do better, but like, damn, man, it's really, 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 really hard. I, I, I'll, one of the realest shit ever, okay? Uh, let me actually show you this, okay? So I'm not sure how much, uh, 100 CAD is right now, but let me see. Uh, so I'm, uh, 100 CAD to PKR, all right? Uh, do you guys see that? Uh, I know you guys are are not able to see. Let me actually zoom. In. Your wife is Pakistani. Okay. How do I show that, man? Come on, man. Like, let me show that, man. Uh, okay, you gotta take my. Uh, you gotta take. Okay, on vertical stream I can show, but on the full stream it's not. It says 20k. Uh, 20k. 100 Canadian is like 20k. You wanna know what? Most people are making 30k a month. Uh, in uh, in Pakistan, most people. That's like average. 30k PKR, which is uh let's see 30k pkr to canadian that's like 145 canadian dollars let's see usd because i'm assuming most of you guys would be in uh america right 107 dollars most people are making 107 dollars per month that's average surely some people are making more than that now just think about it man just think about it and i know i know you cannot compare it like it's not an equal comparison because uh you know no matter where you are uh, uh, uh things are more expensive this and that and uh, you know at the end of the day it kind of balances out but even then like i've been there and uh, a lot of people are really struggling man if you if you got money dog you are the richest motherfucker there you can do whatever you want because uh, uh when i came back to canada i was like bro i want to go back there because uh, and the reason being because um i'm i'm privileged you know like i'm fortunate enough to uh be able to communicate and talk with you guys and make content on the internet self-employed right so in that aspect 100 percent like it would be really really good for me there uh, uh, but, uh, it's one of those things, right? Like, I got everything here, so it's like, it's not easy to make the jump and, uh, be there. But for an average day worker there, they want to get out, though. They really want to get out. Uh, okay, I see what you're saying. Wife is from Pakistan. I just spent $14 on a drink burger and small fry. I yeah, exactly. Exactly. Bro, it's so expensive here, dog. So I'm like a brokey here. <laughs> like, I don't even go out, you know what I'm saying? I, I bought an electric scooter, which was very expensive. Not gonna lie, but I saved money for it. And the reason I bought it was because, yo, dog, like, I don't want to burn money on, like, <laughs> on, uh, I don't want to burn money on gas and car. Uh, I, I want to still go out, but like, I don't want to waste money going out, you know what I'm saying? So I got me an electric scooter, and let me tell you, it's like playing GTA. Right now, I can because it's really cold, so on uh, on scooter, you're gonna freeze. You're literally gonna freeze, right? But summertime, sheesh! Your Ubers are very expensive, man. It, they, I would never do Uber here, uh, unless I absolutely need to. 
I would never. But when I went to Pakistan, I was doing Uber literally every time I would go outside, and because uh, it was it was very cheap for me. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, Ben, Ben Gilroy, Imran Khan's in the butt. Yeah, Imran Khan's in the butt, but like they got him locked up, bro. Like they got him locked up, man. Hassan was born into money and wouldn't know hard work. That's a fact. That's a fact. In response to that clip going viral. This is what Hassan had to say. It is so wild no how this yeah. completely out of context clip made its way to Twitter so fast. I was talking about how much a nine-hour stream eats away at my social battery and how I can't socialize after. Comparing it to my sales job before, I recognize how fortunate I am every day. Okay, that that part is like true for me. Like like I, like I was talking about. Like I never go out because. <laughs> I, and A, because like I don't want to go out because uh, I don't have time when I'm making content, right? And B, I don't want to waste money going out, you know what I'm saying? Because like the, 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 the taxes are so high, cost of living is increasing, inflation and everything like that. But that's me though, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, but for you, like dog, you don't have to stream nine hours. You're already a millionaire. Do it like three hours and socialize, right? You just choose to not do that. Uh, but whatever, wh what he's saying in this way, uh, as somebody who makes content and stream, on this part, I do agree with that. But again, though, like you are your own boss. You are choosing to uh, stream that long. You're already a millionaire. I mean, if you were like not in, uh, I, I guess, like if you were, if you were in a bad position and you absolutely had to, then okay, I understand. But it's like. You know what I mean? It's one of those things. And he Plus, also posted this longer clip that I guess is supposed to provide some sort of context. Social battery wise, unless you're in retail, unless you're in fucking retail, it's very different. You're out of touch. I'm going to die, dude. There's motherfuckers who are accountants in here and they're misunderstanding what I'm saying. A real job does not expend your social battery in the same fucking way as someone who did a sales job, a real job. Okay. I'm telling you, as someone who did did both, Brilliant. like nine hours of of constant performance I and people pleasing one. taps yeah, you out Gabriel, from social scenarios. After nine hours of that, I could probably fucking physical labor. It would not bother me, but I can't do more social shit. That's my point. I mean, to me. Okay, listen, every time I stream, like after stream, I'm tired as well. And that's probably what he means. But it's like, bro, like you chose that, right? Uh, and uh, every job has positives and negatives. And that's the thing, man. That's the thing. Like we were talking about earlier. Uh... Uh, that's the negative. That's the negative of streaming. And uh, for, and I've tried it. I've streamed for a while. So I, I know that part is true for me as well. But uh, here's the thing, though. Like, every job got positives and negatives. I guess most people, if they were making, like, million dollars, uh, millions of dollars uh, every year for streaming, they would choose streaming. It, it's still... And once they try streaming, they're going to find out that it's hard. But it's not the hardest, though. Come on now. It's not the hardest. But... But but if the reward is in the millions, you wouldn't even complain. You feel what I'm saying? You know, if, for example, if you're somebody right now that's listening, that's working a uh, day-to-day -day job, nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know, you got to get your dollars. I respect the hustle, right? Uh, but, but like, for example, if you're making, on average, most people make in America 55 grand, okay? That's like the average. Around 50K, that's like the average of uh, average a year. Now, if you're told to stream... And you're told that, hey, instead of like 50k a year, you're going to make 1 million. You would go with 1 million. You're like, I'm going to jump ship now, all right? F, F everything. Whether it's hard or not, I don't care. The reward is 20 times more than my base salary per year. So, uh, yeah, that they would take that. Absolutely. Anybody would take that in a heartbeat. But later on, they're going to find out that, yeah, it's, it's hard. But it's like, listen, man, like, you know, the reward is so high. I don't even find it hard. It's just one of those things, though. Every job is hard. Mostly. Not all the jobs. I mean, <laughs> showing your butthole on OnlyFans, that's not hard. Uh, it's different kind of hard because, you know, the consequences are going to come in later. Bruh. They can be hard on your life later on. Uh, right? You're not going to find a family man, I guess. You're not going to find a good husband. Or if you find it, you're not going to be able to keep her, uh, keep him around. You, you feel what I'm saying, right? Positives and negatives. Streaming from your home, uh, cost of traveling, food, work, etc. Streaming from home. Exactly. It, it, and listen, I would absolutely take streaming. In fact, I'm streaming right now. I make content. I, I love it, man. 
yeah, it's grindy. Like, I'm thinking about it every waking hour. I'm thinking about it, like, uh, working on videos, thinking about what to do and all that later on, this and that. But I would absolutely take this over, like, working, let's just say, a real job. I love it, man. It's uh, kind of rewarding. I get to uh, hang out and see your guys' comments, talk about games. I mean, shit, like, it's, it's, uh, uh, it, it is hard, but it's not the hardest, though. Like, come on, man. Like, anybody would take that. Anybody would take that. The context here makes him look even more out of touch. Like, obviously, every single job is going to have its pros and cons. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. for me, my job can be kind of the opposite. My job can be very socially isolating. Sometimes I can go all day without really talking to anyone. You gotta spend a lot of time on the computer. But I also understand that that's pretty much the way it goes for any... Yeah, same for me, bro. Like, that's literally me. Whatever he's saying, that's literally me, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't... Uh, and whenever my homies, uh, they're working, like, regular jobs as well, right? Uh, and one of my duties in a good position, but he's working for somebody, right? So like uh, whenever he is free and he want to do something, you know what? I would work extra a little bit today so I can hang out with him tomorrow. You feel what I'm saying? I would always make time. But other than that, bro, it's me and the computer and uh, my family that I'm talking and communicating, okay? You know, I'm a mama's boy, so uh, you know what I'm saying what I mean, but... Uh, uh, it's like fill, uh, filler blustering like Ted Cruz for 12 hours. Retail pays in UK is about minimum 10.42 pounds per hour. Warehouse worker pays from 10.42 to 20 pounds in some warehouse. There are a lot of people that make good money uh, working for someone, but there are a lot of people that don't. A lot of people average. Uh, but it'll be what it be. Yo, straight chilling, becoming a subscriber on Twitch. Yo, what's good, man? Yeah, I appreciate it. I just saw that. Yeah, I'm like very new to Twitch streaming, so I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Uh, straight chilling. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm not sure if it's gonna pop on one stream or not, but uh, yeah, uh, I I'm not sure if it's gonna, but uh, I appreciate it because, like, primarily, like, the YouTube is set up in that way. I wish uh, I could do both at the same time, but it's not gonna, I think. Uh, but I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Let me send you some kisses. Uh, I'm doing great, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Any job where you have to work at home. And I'm also not going to sit here and say, oh, my job is so much harder than someone else's because it is socially isolating. And also, let's be honest, you're not performing for nine hours, dude. I mean, most of this guy's job is just watching Reacting, YouTube videos yeah. and giving his political yeah, take. Yeah. <laughs> like half the time, I'm pretty sure this guy yeah. isn't even in the room, okay? The video is just playing and he goes off to do whatever the fuck he wants. There are yeah. obviously real jobs out there that are good comparisons. Service sector, people-pleasing jobs would be very similar those you're are super, like I think, money, customer service type shit but like if you're an accountant or if you're even like in sales my interactions with clients was limited way more limited than like constantly having to do this for nine hours with like a back and forth interaction for nine hours that's what that's what like sucks your your social battery and you just tap out after it you know, I would love to see Hassan try and do door-to-door -door sales or maybe yeah. some sort of cold calling and see how fast that type of job would suck yeah. the soul out of him. Pause. Yeah, yeah, I, I absolutely agree with that. Absolutely. Uh, how many hours after this video will you be on computer? Like, every waking hour, I, I'm like planning the content i'm on computer 24 7 though like <laughs> I'm, I, I wake up around like 3 4 p.m Bruh. and i go to bed like around 7 in the morning and i'm on computer uh obviously like for showers for breaks and there i would make sure i exercise i exercise every single day i work from home so i don't have time to go to the gym so i work out every day every day so i would like put like something in the background uh like a youtube video or a podcast and i'm working out so i would take breaks for sure but like every waking hour is going into this one no complaints though i love it man uh yo super what's good man I, what's good man i appreciate you man welcome on in london is hell graduated with best grades and i cannot even get a job in my field i'd rather save up and start youtube even if nobody watches at the start uh eagle yeah a lot of people are also in the same boat like that like you would get degree a degree does not guarantee a job and it's really really sad but also i would tell you this like if you're gonna start a youtube yeah there are miracles and there are anomalies where you start now and you can blow up tomorrow but the percentage and the probability is very low realistically you're probably not gonna make 
no money for like few years i didn't made a hundred dollars for the first five years uh so it, but but listen when i started i was a kid so i didn't even understood the concept of money i didn't even care i just wanted to do it and i did it now i think if for example if i was starting from zero and i was making no money then it's like i don't think i would do it you feel what i'm saying because like when you're growing up you got a lot more responsibilities you know what i mean do you touch grass at least all <clears throat> uh, so, uh rarely like i said like if my friends are they they are free and they want to do something i would always say yes to my friends because like i don't want to be always in front of the cam uh the the, the, the computers i want to go out uh, as well uh but i also like in winter i don't want to go out solo in summer like listen man i'm working videos and then I'm on my electric scooter, I'm riding around like GTA. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm on my electric scooter, save money, you get air, you get to touch grass, and you get to touch grass for free as well. Because if you're gonna drive around in car, I mean, you're wasting petrol, right? You feel what I'm saying? My man, uh, man I'm up uh, at 7 every day and go to bed around 12 a.m. I wish I knew who, how to make money being a content creator. I'm sure I could do it, but I don't know where to start. It's the knowledge, yeah? You gotta get the knowledge, but... Uh, this is what I'm saying. Not n every job is uh, every job is hard, man. You gotta learn and you gotta uh, adapt and you gotta please the algorithm and all that crap. So there's that that comes with YouTube. That that I would say is uh, hard. But other than that, like YouTube is not the hardest thing. Uh, it's hard uh, in the very beginning, but once you get the ball rolling, it's not hard. But uh, but if you're doing Call of Duty content like me, bro, it's kind of hard because when Call of Duty dies, then it gets <laughs> then it's then it's hard. Uh, but you know, new Call of Duty comes out every year, so it's not that big of a deal, you know. It's, I mean, at the end of the day, dude, you are a millionaire sitting in a mansion, reacting to YouTube videos, farming millions of dollars from your audience. And obviously with this being Hassan, people began to make the uh, typical arguments that they're gonna say against him because he does present himself as a socialist online. They say Hassan Piker take- I'm about to drop one of the W opinion. I know like I'm, I'm sucking my own dick right now, but I'm pretty sure you guys would agree. As a brown man, I demand- You know what? I figured it out. I figured it out. Here's what's up, okay? As a brown man, what I demand here is lower the taxes, okay? For everybody, except for like millionaires and billionaires, right? I'm not a millionaire right now, one day I will be. And then I might complain about it like Hassan, you know what I'm saying? No, I wouldn't, I mean, when you got a million dollars, I mean, come on now, right? But you know what? As a brown man, lower taxes for everybody. Millionaire, billionaire, lower taxes, okay? Up the pay, up the pay for an average worker, all right? All of you motherfuckers that are watching, okay? You deserve to get paid more. Like the video if you agree. One in the chat right now. Hype me up, man. Hype me up right now, man. <laughs> I'm fighting for you right now, man. Uh, one in the chat if lower the taxes, up the pay, and also if you're an online content creator, up the CPMs. You know what? Nobody left behind. All my sigas are with me right now. Nobody gets left behind. Here we go, man. W take, L take, what are we thinking? I think that's a W take, but that's like me. I'm, I'm biased, you know? So, uh... Sometimes you gotta agree with yourself before other people can agree with you, you know what I'm saying? So it's uh, one of those things. It's like one of those things. You gotta like your own comment to get the ball rolling. You, how, how else? How is somebody else is gonna like your comment if you're not even gonna like your comment? How is somebody else is gonna like your stream if you don't even like your stream? It's one of those things, right? So you gotta agree with yourself before. Uh, yeah, a lot of people agree. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's, uh, you know, that's what we want, man. That's all what we want, bro. Taking a private jet to Coachella because he's a principled anti-capitalist. And that's always kind of been a talking point against this guy because he does live in a mansion, he drives several fancy cars, he's out here apparently taking yeah. private flights, and what they're essentially saying is, yeah, dude, you hate on capitalism all the time, you act like you're some big socialist, but then in your free time, you choose to indulge in capitalism as much yeah, as you yeah, can. Yeah. My guy Mudahar comes in with his take where he says, streaming is by far the easiest, most privileged jobs one I can agree. have. If I you're successful, like if you're success, absolutely. If you're successful, the rewards far always. Yeah, exactly what I was saying. It's not, uh, but but like I'm a mid-tier streamer, right? So I cannot miss a day. I'm not a streamer. I'm a con. I'm, I make videos, uh, and right now I'm starting streaming as well. And the goal is like stream two times or three times a week. So I'm like turn. I'm learning the ropes of streaming as well right now for me uh but 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 here's the thing man like 110 percent, i would go with streaming a lot more uh with the uh, and if you're making like millions of dollars of streams then holy shit man holy shit that's one of the easiest thing ever test for the rewards far outweigh any of the negatives facts 
Compare it to any service job, cybersecurity or nursing, you'll find something actually exactly. exhausting. And now this guy comes and straight, I know I'm pausing here, but straight uh, chilling over on Twitch, who became my first subscriber. And listen, man, I don't even know how that shit works, but I know that he paid money to be a sub. So I appreciate you. It means a lot. Uh, I'm learning Twitch as well as I go. Like I got affiliated uh, uh, two days ago. So yeah, I'm streaming on Twitch as well. So guys, if you got Twitch, uh, follow there as well. I would appreciate it. But he says that we don't need to pay taxes. Government can just print their way out of any problem. Absolutely, man. Absolutely, bro. They print money, bro. They print money, man. Can a brother get a printing machine as well? You know what I'm saying? I know it's illegal, but not asking literally, but like, y y but like, yeah, absolutely. They should no taxes, bro. Or you know what? Make it so you got to pay like 2% taxes a year, Bruh. not like 20 or 30%. You know what I'm saying? My sister's a nurse and she pays like almost half of her salary, bro. Like I paid a lot in taxes too, even though I'm self-employed, but like, but I got, but you know, self-employed also gave me benefits of, you know, every, uh, the, the cost, uh, like everything that I buy that goes towards making videos, I can remove that, right? Uh, so I get to pay a little bit less, but still bro like I pay a lot like I know everybody pays a lot in first world countries We pay a lot of taxes though, you know, they should lower it down. They should make it 2% a year I'm, I'm happy with 2% you know, how about let, let's not make it 0% because the government won't like it I mean the government wouldn't like it <laughs> when it's 2% either uh, Bro, what the hell are you talking about? We're talking about lowering the taxes and uh, how Hassan thinks streaming is the hardest thing ever If you're just coming on, yeah, my bad brother, uh, you lost the plot But uh, stay around, stay a little bit, you're gonna understand the plot uh, Yo, Mr. what's good, man? How you doing, man? Hassan should be my lawyer in with his take about Mudahar's take where he says, fuck it, I'm doing- Yeah, Thomas, I, yeah, I agree, but, but still, uh, yeah, I mean, there's no damn, son. That, that, that's true, that's true, but, but still, I rather, uh, 2% taxes, though. Bad faith arguments? Give a nurse or a cybersecurity expert a camera and tell them to talk about politics in front of 20,000 people for 9 hours a day, every day for a year, and see how long they can go before they quit from harassment or lose viewership cause they suck. You'll see a lot of comments on Twitter trying to defend Hassan in this way, and to me it's- I, I mean listen, like harassment, yeah that's true, like uh, everyone that's gonna do YouTube or Twitch they're gonna get bad comments, I get it all the time as well. But over time like you don't care, you develop a thick skin, it's uh, but in the very beginning it can be draining but but listen, man, like Hassan, you're a millionaire. You've been doing streaming uh, and he's doing streams for like years and years. So I don't think it would affect him that much. Maybe if everybody dog on him like right now. Yeah, it's probably going to affect his mental. Let's be real for a little bit. But like he's going to develop even more thicker skin than that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I know I'm not everybody's the same. Uh, this is this has been my experience. Like in the beginning, it would affect you. But later on, it won't affect you. All right. That's kind of like the boat I'm in, but it's another uh, argument and another discussion when if everybody hits you, like if everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, like I'm seeing your guys chat, right? Like all of you guys turn on me and you're like, you suck this and that, uh, you know what I'm saying? So that, that, that would be different. I guess then it would affect a lot more. But like, come on, man, Hassan, like there are a lot of yes men uh, he got, so. It's just such a stupid argument because they don't take account that he's making millions of dollars to do so. Like this is almost the equivalent of me telling a school teacher who's complaining about their salary. Yeah, well you go play shortstop for the New York Yankees. You go play power forward for the Lakers. Let's see how you fucking like it. Like at the end of the day doing sh- Yeah, I, you, you know what? That comment would definitely affect me. Skill losing his race. Come on, man. Why, bro? Why, man? Dreaming as a job when it comes to the pay versus the amount of effort you have to put in, especially for like these top level streamers who have already made it and are getting like millions of dollars a month. And I would Love say you, it's Jason. a very fair assessment that they're all very privileged. I mean, I'm extremely privileged in my job. I'm not too out of touch where I can't recognize that. Like, yeah, you want to yeah, talk no. about mentally exhausting. You want to talk about socially draining. Uh -huh, like, I have uh -huh. friends who work out in the oil field. I'm talking about 12-hour shifts on their feet. I'm talking about missing birthdays, missing holidays, working with a bunch of felons. So if I were to sit here and say, like, oh, my job is so hard because... It's socially isolating. My job is so hard because I get tired of doing the same thing every day. Like if I were to say those things, I would feel like a bitch because yeah. I know how hard some of my friends are working. I know people who are completely educated with years of work experience who cannot find a job right now. 
And so with this situation, Hassan is going to take his moment to kind of lean into the bait where someone says, what's harder than this? And obviously this just looks like a disgustingly terrible, grueling job to have, yeah. no matter how much money you're making to do it. I mean, be honest, Chad, like, would you do this? No disrespect to the man. I got, he got my respect though. Every, I respect every hustle though. You know what I mean? Not every hustle that sounds bad. Like I, like I said, I don't respect the hustle from the queens uh, showing their buttholes on uh, on OnlyFans. But outside of that, Bruh. like uh, I, I, listen, man, I respect this man. Like he's busting his ass right there. You know, we all bust our ass in some way, but like this man is literally busting his ass. Do you think Twitch streaming is easier than this or harder than this? <laughs> that would be interesting, I guess. I, I know, man. Twitch streaming is easiest in compared to that. And uh, Hassan says sarcastically that Twitch streaming is harder. Bruh. Okay, kind of just poking fun at all the quote unquote haters out there. Now, another popular streamer out yeah. there, Osman Gold, stepped in to give his take on the situation. Imagine giving a presentation for nine hours straight. It's like after a while, you'd be like, I don't want to talk. Or the department manager just occasionally is just like, hey, you suck. Bald ass. You fell off, huh? We gotta remember this Bruh. in your performance review. You fat. F hey, yo, stupid what are you ass. Oh my god, guys! Can you believe that random people online type mean comments? Like yeah. this guy is years into the internet game, and he's gonna really try and act like negative comments or mean people online. Yeah, yeah. Like, listen, man. This is what I'm saying, right? Like, Asmund Gold, he's he probably seen a lot of negative comments, and he probably grew a thick skin even more than me because he got like a lot more viewers, thousands of viewers. So the hate that he would get would also amplify. Generally speaking, he is loved uh, by the community. And I like his shit too. I watch his shit all the time. But right now he's probably getting ratioed over the the take, and he is uh, right. But I, but is it really affecting him? Nah, not so much though. Come on now, because uh, if you're doing YouTube or streams for this long, you're gonna develop a thick skin where negative comments won't even affect you no more. Like negative comments, uh, for for me it, it did affect in the very beginning, but now they don't. You know what I mean? I'm going to say this Twitch streaming for girls is basically a for for girls it's super easy, bro. Like l I'm sorry, but it is. You just gotta show your tatas and that's it. Uh, and that's literally Twitch in a nutshell. This is why I said I don't respect that. I I don't respect that. Uh, this is what <laughs> I'm putting OnlyFans and that into the same category. Uh, it's it is hard to find a job nowadays, even with experience. I have digital marketing experience, and it's hard to find a job. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, degrees. Uh, does not mean that you're gonna ever find a job this does not uh future proof you nowadays it, this is why like no matter who you are whether you're working a regular job for somebody or self-employed you gotta find like different streams of income you you need to i was talking about it like the other stream as well you got to you need to you need to uh secure your future to be honest and bother him like i get that it is a big part of twitch to interact with your chat but i feel like if you're gonna be a figure on the internet pretty early on you have to learn to not really give a fuck about what anyone says whether it's good or bad like people yeah, are gonna yeah. praise you when you're up and try and take you out when you're down but yeah, you can't yeah, yeah. really give a fuck because that's kind of just the nature of the beast it kind of just comes with the job he says mm -hmm. that he gets exhausted socially because he's talking to people for nine hours a day you really think that's you really think that's not true? People aren't saying it's not true. I think people are just saying you don't really have the right to complain about it when the pros outweigh the cons so much. And the yeah. pros in this situation being that he's a fucking millionaire sitting in his house all day, still making millions of dollars for a very minimum amount of effort. I mean, you really think it's not true that after you spend nine hours yeah, like we were talking about earlier like it's it's true but it's just that it's all about the positives and the negatives right is he using her to pay his rent and bills roll it. today we're going to be helping wendy find out if her boyfriend is only with her because of her money i pay for practically everything i pay yo she looked like nadia from call of duty right but like the the mcdonald version a little bit. his car note his insurance food gas uh, no disrespect but you freaking name it i'm practically his like he's my dependent why are you funding his life
I care about him a lot, and obviously I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't, but I don't want this relationship to go any further if he's not gonna be loyal. We've come up with a plan Damn. to help Lindy's boyfriend prove his loyalty. This will be his chance to show her that he does love her and isn't only using her and doing things behind her back. So if he passes this test, then are you still willing to like fund his life like that? The least this man could do is be loyal, right? But I think the bigger yeah. question is, <laughs> will Wendy still be willing to fund the bar... a grown man's life if he passes this test? The bar is so low right now. You, <laughs> At least he can be loyal. Yo, uh, what are the odds he's gonna fold? I'm, uh, I'm thinking he's gonna fold. I'm thinking he's gonna fold. I hope you guys have your doggies for this one because you guys already know. This uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. I'm excited for this one. Just made it to the home, setting everything up, making everything look good, waiting for everyone to arrive as well. When the time was right, Wendy would be leaving to get her boyfriend Jermaine. She would then bring him back to this home, under the impression that they were coming to a white elephant Christmas party that her co-workers were supposedly throwing. We're back. Amongst the co-workers was our decoy Anna. She would be the one hitting on Jermaine and testing if he would stay loyal. So these guys are Holy chilling here. Crap. Oh, we know Move is pulling a loyalty test over there. <laughs> As the sun began to set, Wendy made her way to Jermaine. We finished setting everything up and everyone got into position. Wendy texted me when she was almost here and it was game time. Alrighty guys, everybody in character. This is it. They will be here in five, ten minutes. You guys got Your my, my guy is running like real life uh, Comedy Central right now. He's running like, <laughs> he's, he's running, uh, he's catching like cheaters uh this is like this would be call of shame if he were to do like real life uh cheaters uh video right you feel what i'm saying she makes silly pk dance videos rishi sunak made it worse for the uk you would think that this corporation would be desperate for someone marketing and promotion on their safety but damn it's a dry storm yeah it's dry out here here we go oh no now please don't fail bro how you guys feel hey, like he's gonna how you do it's good to see you hey what's up man what's your name jermaine, jermaine? Yeah. he's That's gonna you. fold here we go they're here they have arrived everyone's in here do you guys want uh how are you? i'm good how are you good to see you, you. want a uh yeah, good 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 toko chico hi wendy Topo chico what's up brother muba Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Wendy walked in pretending to know some people and not knowing others. Remember, these are supposed to be her co-workers. Ooh, love the gifts. You, you want a seltzer? We got Christmas music going to make this thing believable. Hopefully this video doesn't get copyrighted though, but in case it does, give it a big thumbs up, please. The goal yeah. is now for Wendy like to make her voice. exit so that Anna could make her move. Okay, so far I'm not sure. Uh, Maestro says that he's, he might not fold. I have not seen the, the, the chick just yet. The second I see the chick, I, I will be able to tell you whether he's gonna fold or not. I believe this is the chick, right, in question? If this is the main chick, okay, from the side, I mean, looks... I mean, listen, I don't think they're gonna put, like, an ugly chick in it. They're probably gonna put, like, a hot chick in it so he gets attracted and uh, they're gonna begin the test. But I... I don't know, man. So far, I think he's gonna fold. I'm 50-50, though. But first, we had to let Jermaine enjoy the party a little. Damn, why are they all by the kitchen? We literally thought they were Yo, gonna be Scott, hanging out up? more like outside or in the living room. But they're all literally in the kitchen. Why didn't we set that angle up a little bit better? Who's getting it? I catch you in the next uh, one, Thomas. I appreciate you dropping by, man. Fired. Much love, brother. French. French. And Christmas. And Christmas. And Christmas. 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 So unfortunately, you guys are gonna have to picture Jermaine having a good time while tucked away in this blind spot here. He was truly enjoying himself. He was enjoying some snacks, some drinks, and his time getting to know everyone, including uh -oh. our decoy on it. Damn, this looks legit. Y yeah. <laughs> Eventually. Okay, I'm I'm like seventy percent right now. I think seventy percent chance that he's gonna fold. Yeah. <laughs> she just wanted a BBC, bro. I can sense it in a forest. Much love, man. Finally caught you live. You uh, you live. Never thought I would be lucky enough to catch you, my man. But I did so. Bingo, bang. Uh, bingo, baby. Bingo, lol. Okay. People trick up outside appreciate. to hang out. Jermaine finally left the kitchen, only for 10 minutes later to go back and hang out in his blind spot. Elias began hitting on Anna, but got rejected. Xavier and Shelby seemed to have hit it off. Muba began spitting some game, and Anna was digging him. Ken and Elias can sense this, so they walked away and cock blocked Xavier. This music is making me forget that we're filming a loyalty test. I say we go back to the suspenseful part. Yeah. You guys, do you guys play um, beer pong or like any like party games or anything? Dang. Oh, she advancing right now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yo, she about to advance though. Make pull if he's folding or not. Uh, okay, make pull you mean, right? Uh, 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 uh. I mean like, it's a drama video, right? So if he doesn't fold, then there will be no drama. I'm assuming he will. 
But uh, I'm 70 30 right now. Really? Dude, I brought some really cool like games to play. Uh, you want? You want yeah, yeah. I know yeah. she pieces. It's actually right there. You want to help me set it up? Yeah. It was time for Wendy to make her exit, so we texted Muba to distract your main. This game, it's like a, it's like a life. You, you put the actual beer pong cups and like, I'll show you, I'll show you. Actually. You hope he feels? As planned, Muba asked Jermaine to help him set Man, sickest one, sickest one to him feel already, man. Come on, man. He needs his freedom. <laughs> okay, all right. Some party games in the backyard. Uh, this way, this way, this way, this way. Sorry, I can't go this way. Muba would lead him to the furthest side of the yard onto this patch of grass. From here, the inside of the home is hardly visible, allowing Wendy to make her exit. All right, here we go, Wendy's on her way. What is good? Now what was visible from this patch of grass was this bedroom window, which is actually where we were. Well, you can hear everything. We had to be very careful not to raise any alarm that something other than a Christmas party was going on at this house. Hella nervous, oh, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but was he suspicious about anything? Mm. Yo, uh, chat. Like, what uh, do you view this as uh, a good thing or a bad thing? Like, for example, like your partner. If you're a guy, your girl puts you through this. If you're a girl, you put your uh, your BF through this. Do you view this as a good thing or a bad thing? Because this chick is putting him through, like her BF, right? Uh, through this loyalty test. Do you view this as a good thing or a bad thing? A uh, good thing in a way because uh, then I guess she really loves the guy and she want to know whether he's the husband material, right? Bad thing uh, because like she does not trust and she's unsure. Uh, Mr. says it's a bad thing. It's more like trust issues. Yeah, good. Yo, Mr. J, what's good, man? How you doing, man? Welcome on in. Uh, Heather views as a bad thing. Okay. Yeah, no loyalty, uh, no trust. Okay. Uh, good would be that she just want to make sure, but it's like, if you are at the point of making sure, then I guess that's a red flag already, you know? Because you're thinking about it, like, it, it, some somehow, some way, the seed was planting in your head, which was telling you that, hey man, this guy, I'm not sure about this guy or the girl, right? Okay. In other way around. Now, let me ask you this. Did you get him the white elephant gift or did he end up getting it? I bought it. You bought it? <laughs> yeah. If the bad thing turned out to be good, if she finds out that he's loyal, then okay, well, yeah. But then it's like, it, it's, it would be up to him to be, uh, to stay around or not. I made it easy we'll find out. for him so that mm -hmm. he could just show up and that's mm -hmm. it. So all we gotta do is like set him up as if. Like right? <laughs> yeah, basically, oh, dude. Yeah, yeah. Why was it that you wanted to put him to the test? Um, I am pretty much supporting this guy. I pay for oh. practically everything. I pay for his car note, his insurance. Like, he's my dependent. Have you had a conversation with him? Like, I have. What? But he's like one of those that's like, oh, I'm going to invest in crypto. I want to invest in real estate. And, mm. you know, I. Okay, when was this video? This was two months ago. Okay, so Bitcoin going up right now. How many of you guys invested in Bitcoin? I personally have not. I should have, but it's like, I, I, I don't have that play money. I don't want to risk the money, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I invested in other stocks that went up, uh, but not in Bitcoin, though. I get it. Like, have your dreams. But it's but going like, up right now. You got to pay the bills, too. I've known Wendy for a long time, man. Yeah. I've known her forever, man. They're like mutual, mutual friends. That's not even the worst part. He's like slowly trying to... Uh, no, it's gambling haram in my opinion. I, I, it's the way you do it. Like, I would say if you're uh, religious and you're daily trading, then that could be viewed, uh, viewed as gambling. But if you are someone that's going to invest in the long term, then that's not considered gambling. That wouldn't be considered haram. So if you know what you're doing uh, and you have the knowledge and you are investing for the right reasons, that wouldn't be considered uh, gambling in my opinion. Uh, and the way that I've seen and read. But it depends. Like if you if you're just like investing without knowledge, and, and you're hopping on the bandwagon, and you're thinking about like pulling your money out tomorrow, then I guess you can say that's gambling. But I guess it depends. Be sneaky and move into my house. But he's trying to be oh, like, like smooth with it. All in one he left his toothbrush for. Oh shit. And then he was like leaving his gym bag. He's like, I see oh, your your chilling. house is near the gym that I go to. Then he was leaving some other clothes. If he really does want to get to that step in the relationship. He's got to get his shit together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you play ball? Bro. I don't play ball. I'm not good at it. Okay, okay. So Jermaine is unemployed, broke, lazy, and trying to sneakily move in with his girlfriend. I've known people like this, and frankly, I don't get them. How can you be broke, have someone else covering your bills, and not feel bad? This man oh, needs man. to go get it. This guy is living the dream right now, man. Come on, bro. Like, 
Yeah, I need my I need me a sugar mommy too, man. He got a sugar mommy right now. Job. He's perfectly healthy and able to be a productive member of society. I yeah. am baffled <laughs> that Wendy even gave him the time of day. But I mean, hey, I guess love is blinding, right? I don't love is blinding, dude. Like normally, it's the other way around. Okay, well, I mean, listen, she definitely loves the guy. Oh, poor soul, man. <gasps> yeah, like listen, that's uh, that guy milking it. He's like, no, bro, I'm not gonna work. I'm not gonna work. I'm gonna be dead princess. He's the dead princess kind of guy. Ask for much. I really don't. Mm -hmm. I'm like, the least you could do is just be loyal. So if he passes this test, then mm -hmm. are you still willing to like bun his life like that? I mean, yes and no. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would like to help him, but like not forever. I'll give it like Damn. a good month. If he passes this. One month. One Pass month, it. yeah. Bruh. Let's try this game out. Let's, let's let's see what this is all about. Muba asks Jermaine to set up one last party game with him before completing his role and taking him inside. Pizza and wings are actually on their way. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was now yeah, Ken's yeah, job yeah, yeah, to let Jermaine yeah, yeah, know yeah, that his girlfriend yeah, yeah, yeah. supposedly ran to the store to pick up a Christmas game that she really wanted everyone to play. Yeah, so she said she'd be right back. With Jermaine uh, right after impression this, that his Mr. girlfriend G. would be a while, Anna was now free to approach and ask him to play a game of Pong. Because we were busy out there playing, you know, so she probably... You guys, you guys just set up the beer Pong outside, right? Yeah, yeah. it's actually pretty sick because the buckets... Want to play? Yeah, let's play. Okay. Uh, you guys are going to need the cups. Jermaine seemed a bit off put by his girlfriend's leaving. Oh, he's in the bathroom. Yeah, it's like he doesn't know the people, so he's like, I would be like that too. I would be like, hey, yo, what's happening, man? I don't know. I, 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 I don't know this. Why are you leaving me? You know, it's uh, it's one of the, he, he's lazy. It's GG for him. I mean, brother was just like uh, trying to live life, I guess, <laughs> you know, without uh, he trying to live life on recro difficulty, I guess. Low key saved it though, and he agreed to play with her after taking a piss next door. After he what? emptied his tank, we were back in business. I've never played beer pong like this, so you're gonna have to show me how to set it up and all this other stuff. So how are you doing this? All right, here we go. Game time. And just like that, we finally got our decoy and Jermaine by themselves. Additionally, we also provided Anna with a good 20 minutes before Wendy, quote unquote, returns from the store. Plenty of time to make her move. Ladies first. <laughs> she advanced in right Hold now. You. Chug, 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 chug. All right, we don't got all day, come on. Oh, she panicking though. <laughs> oh shoot, I don't know. So you said that you don't need a phase two, phase three. Oh no, why? Why would I need a phase two or a phase three? It's black and white for me, mm -hmm. like. So you don't want to see like, if he no, does something well with no, her. Or absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, no, absolutely. bro, that, no. I'm not there, like. Mm -hmm. I think, okay, listen, though, we have his profile right now, right? We got his profile. We know the guy doesn't make the money. He lives off of the sugar mama money. Uh, he lazy, like you said, Mr. J. So I, I'm like upping the the numbers to. Uh, you know what? It could be the other way around too. What if? Uh, yeah, I, if he's like money motivated or motivated by the money, then he might not cheat. But if this new chick flashes the money, then he might cheat. I guess it's about that, right? Yo, Farid, Farid, bhai, kya hal chal hai? ho, kaise ho, bhai jan? Uh, if he has a big dong, he can get away with laziness. Okay, that's a uh, yeah big factor. If you eat mamu ko salam dena, mami ko salam dena kaise ho bhaijan? Tik tak ho? He should be mentioning me. He should be like, I got a girlfriend. The end. Point blank. Period. What did you bring for the whole white elephant? You should find out when everybody else is. No, I want to know now. No, I don't think I'm supposed to tell you that. I don't Just think I'm me. supposed. To... What? <laughs> ah. I've been told that he, he's gonna fold he, the way he's talking he's gonna fold I swear to god he's gonna no I should not be uh that that doesn't mean that he's gonna fold but it's like uh it's going in that direction though oh. yeah I, I I mean suckers are crazy I know how the mind of a man works so be, based off the way he was talking like that I know he could be just trying to be nice but no 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 Ah, uh, nah, he's folding, he's folding, he's folding, he's folding. Once or twice? Ah, bruh, calm down. <laughs> he, and uh, he said bruh, he said bruh. Usually when you say bruh, you are kind of like, you say around the people you're cool with. You feel what I'm saying? You're not gonna say like bruh to a random person, right? On the streets. You say bruh to the people, like bruh. Like I say that all the time with my real life homies and on the videos as well. That's because like we cool, right? Are we cool? 
I'm assuming VR cool. Come on, man. Like the video, subscribe right now. But uh, he said it right now. He fooled him. Oh, okay. Thank you, I guess. The duo plan makes small talk for another five minutes before Anna proceeds to finally making her move. Since you don't want to tell me your gift, how about we help each other out for it? I want everyone to hear. How about we work together for, for the white elephant? We go signal to each other about which gift we want. You know it sounds good. Deal? You're funny. Okay, I thought that she was gonna say something else. Come on, guys. You thought she was gonna say something else, right? But then she was like, uh, she brought in the gift. Yo, she a cock tease right now. She, uh, yeah. She cock blocked the guy. <laughs> She cock blocked the guy. He definitely was not seeing that coming. He was also probably thinking about something else, but I mean, I could tell that. Yeah, you as hell. Sneaky as hell. Sneaky? No. Yeah. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh, oh well, she. Do you want to do this or not? What up, Capital E? I mean, I don't know. You kind of giving me a little tempting offer over here, and you got your little body language all up next to me. And shit. I'm trying to see what's up. He's folding. Oh my. Oh, oh. See, he, the homie direct right there. The homie's direct right there. Uh, we busting cheaters uh, right now, Capital E. We talked about gaming earlier. Now we busting cheaters. How you doing, man? I mean, I'm just trying to see the presents. The presents, huh? <laughs> so, what? Yeah, the homie was caught off guard. No, I don't have a man. But why are you asking? I'm just curious. I'm wondering. Why oh, are you no, wondering? please. Yeah, no, bro. No, no don't. Crazy. But why? Oh, he folded. 110%. Bumbaka! He already folded. He already folded. You know what I'm saying? Are you asking? That's what, what, why are you asking? What is the point of your, your question? Yeah, Nacho, that's an L. You trying to get my he number folded. or something? Yeah. GG's. I might give it to you. I mean. Yeah, you sneaky as fuck. I see it already. Sure, okay. Devil, like a little devil on a person's shoulder. No, 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 can't make don't you do, do anything. Don't do it, bro. It, it's that crab, bro. It's that crab. Dawn, bro. Dawn, just sleep that dragon. Sleep that. Make sure your little dragon sleeps, bro. She a succubus, bro. Like, don't fall for it. It's a false alarm, bro. Somebody wake him up right now, bro. Somebody wake him up, man. I don't want to. I didn't say I didn't want to. Oh, okay. I'm a sexy little devil, huh? Mm hmm. I don't need to listen anymore. I got it. I'm I'm done. I'm yeah, it's done. over. A thousand percent done. We're just gonna go ahead and do like this right here, right? Okay. Man, brother just folded yeah, this quick. Go ahead and lock it. Okay. Lock I'ma tell you this though. I think you're cute and all, so I will give you my number, but I'm not a home wrecker. <laughs> home wrecker? Who said anything about that? It's not even that serious. It's not that Dang. serious? It's not Dang. I promise you that. Okay. Damn. Here you go. This better not be no rejection hotline. So you're just gonna do your girl like that though? Yo, you gotta relax. You the one who came up to me. Damn, like brother, bro, why y'all bro brothers be like folding this fast, man? Y'all look, y'all making us look bad, bro. Uh, what's happening? The guy folded, bro. Like that's uh the other chick that was sitting uh, is the main chick, and this is like the uh the test. I mean, this chick is trying to check whether he's gonna be loyal to the main chick or not and he folded literally he got busted yeah he got bumble clad my only question is how do they not see the cameras they hide it you know like they hide it the guy's not seeing it it's dark you wouldn't expect the camera to be there in the first place it's dark it's hidden like closer to the trees here he folded you want to play games right yeah games so you were trying to get okay. you wanted to see us to know me to be honest okay yeah i see you. i mean i like i said i think you're kind of cute yeah you know i'm like <laughs> Name a car for an edit. Uh, Lamborghini. What about that? Okay. That was pretty bad. That was pretty quick. Damn. I'm so embarrassed right now. So embarrassed. I'm curious. Man, this quick, bro. Like, I'm curious to what. It's kind of loud in there, huh? <clears throat> no, what? Anyway. Okay. Know. Here, can you, you sit down with me. Okay. <laughs> oh, with daddy now. I'm done. I'm ready to. I started a lot. What? What? Sit down with who? Sit down with daddy? Nah, bro, y'all make, you making us, all, all of us look bad, bro, come on. Okay, guys, chat, chat, be honest, be honest, all right? Uh, don't, don't cap. One, if you would 
fold two if you would not. Be honest. I'm assuming most of you would say two, but please don't lie, okay? If you you know yourself better than I know you, right? So if you would fold, drop a one in chat. Two if you would not. Straight chill and says two. Okay, the daddy part was huge. Al. He's a simp. He's a simp. Like, <laughs> yeah, this uh, this is the main chick. She, I, I mean, I feel bad for the chick. She was paying for him, though. It should be the other way around. It normally is the other way around, but like, damn. You know, she's the sugar mama, though. Yeah. Uh, two, two, two. Come on, guys. I mean, I'm just expecting. Like, I mean, why would I expect any of you to drop a one right now? You know, like, <laughs> yeah, all of you would say that I won't fall. I won't fall. But uh, when it's like the mo in moments like that, I'm assuming most of you would also fall, though. Yay! Now, nah, I, I, I would like to believe that. Now, nah, you guys would not. You guys would. Let me show you some kisses. I believe that you guys are loyal. My bad, guys. My, 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 my bad for being that aggressive and assuming that. Okay, my bad, guys. My bad. My bad. You guys would not. Get out. What? Mr. Just has one being honest? Nah, come on, man. I'm gonna give him the gift. Everyone right, going to the kitchen climax. may have given Jermaine the confidence to get comfortable with honest. What the you idiot. He thinks you're gone for like 20, 40 minutes. Like, that's mm -hmm. probably why he's getting all comfortable with her, too. We prepared Wendy for a journey to her car. She would be retrieving a gift while I stayed behind to make sure a decoy was safe. How cold do you think that water is in that pool? I'm trying to find out. I am definitely not trying to. Why not? Now, why was Wendy getting a gift from her car? Well, yeah. because it was for Jermaine. So, where are we, where are we gonna go? Where are you gonna take me? Cheesecake factory. That's cool. They have good yeah. avocado rolls. Yeah, what are the chances that he never took his main chick to a cheesecake factory? Bumbocat! He's probably thinking about taking the side chick or this new chick to the cheesecake factory, but he probably would never have taken the main chick. That's sad, bro. That is sad. I've yeah. been there forever. We didn't want to take any chances, but once I got the sense that Anna was safe, I texted Wendy to wait for me outside because I had to see this gift before it was given to Jermaine. Sorry. I wanted to see it. Damn, so this is it? You yeah, really ripped it, ripped it. It is all his clothes. No all his way. that he left at my house is in here. Wendy what? knew this test could have a bad outcome and she wanted to be ready for it. She was ready to kick this man out of her house and her life in the craziest way possible. She didn't need a phase two or a phase three. This man had bit the hand that was feeding him. Are you down to confront him with no cameras? I'm down. I feel like if you give him the gift and the cameras are there, he's gonna already know something's yeah. up and be thrown off. Yeah. So what if we stay back in the room and then if anything, you just like record it off my phone or something? Okay. Down for that? Yeah. Okay. And so uh, with yeah, that, yeah. we shut off the Christmas music. We went back. Yeah, yeah. WWW. Gotta be sneaky, though. Gotta get the reaction, though. Gotta get the reaction, guys. Okay, boys. It's game time right now. Crack your knuckles. It's going down. Put your put your seed belts on right now. It is going down. Uh, my wife left me. She went back to her husband. Uh, My wife left me. She went back to her husband. What? I mean, were you the, the husband or 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 you were like the side guy or or maybe she married a new but a uh, new hubby or got a new hubby if that's the case man i feel bad for you though but keep your chin up man keep your chin up king like you deserve better man you know we're watching these to line up your mood right now but i'm in a six-year relationship and i've been tested many times in pro <laughs> Yo, what the hell? Six times? No, man, come on, bro. Back to hiding That's to not mess crazy. up Wendy's surprise. And we got ready streets? for this one-of-a-kind confrontation. I hope you guys have... Damn, she owns the house, too. Dude going back to the streets as he deserved. Yeah, Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, Nacho. And uh, straight chilling on, on Twitch. Yeah, guys, we live on Twitch as well. Definitely follow on Twitch as well. talk is for this one because you guys already know. This shit ain't gonna be good. This shit's gonna be good. Man, you know, back in the days, he would never censor the shy's word, but I know why he does it. Even I, I hesitate saying that word because we're on YouTube. I say shy's, bull shy's, bull crap, bull, bull squash. Uh, I, I try to refrain from saying that word, but man, I remember the videos uh, back in the days when he would never censor that word. That's YouTube for you. Buckle up, boys. Buckle up, buckle up. Climax, climax coming up. Jermaine. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. That's you. One. I don't think we should go together. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's putting his guard up right now. He for the streets. Come here. Uh, 
<laughs> Come here for a second. Yeah, she just walked away with her high heels. She also got high heels. What? What? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I got you something. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, for you. For you, bro. Open it. Oh no, nah, bro, don't open it, bro. No, mm -mm, mm -mm, don't. No, no, don't, don't cut it. I no. got you your gift first. I wanted you to open. It. Just, just act cool. Be like, uh, oh, thank you. That's so nice. But you know what? I want to get you a gift uh, first. Uh, I won't open it without me getting you a gift. So let me run and buy you something. Open it there and find out what's inside. And depending on what's inside, if it's bad, you never come back. <laughs> okay, why am I giving him tips right now, man? Oh, shit. Why, though? Open it in front of everyone. Nah, don't open it, bro. Aww, that's pretty nice. Yeah. So sweet. That's so sweet. That's cool. Oh okay, now everybody's it. hyping him up. Oh, it's sweet. I'm going to record this because it's something I'm going to want to remember. Oh, no. You're the only one being awkward right now. Just open it. Just... Yeah, if she put her a smile... What, what? is it? Oh, what? Wait, what? What was that? Hey, yo. Hey. What is it? Hey, what's Tell up? Tell everyone. Show them what it is. I think Show it's them close, what it is. Right? Show them what it is. Show them what the f*** this is. Show them what the f*** that is. What is it? What is it? You're a lying piece of You're a lying son of a mooching off me. Are you gonna fess up? Are you gonna tell everybody what the f uh, Okay, I'm getting confused. What's that? Any, maybe I lost the plot. Uh, I'm assuming that says like clothes. Uh, now he's being gonna, gonna be homeless. That's what I'm getting at. Is that what's up or something else? You just did? Or help, should I? I need help. Or should I? This loser asked oh, for way. her number was flirting with her. I'm gone for 20 minutes and this is what you do? I bought you that. So actually the that I bought, give that no, no, back no, no. to me. See, no, no, no. no. Really oh yeah, she bought him, him that. What are you oh doing, yeah. Bro? What are you doing? Bro, what the is this? Are you, no, Wendy. No, stop. Bro, oh my, yo. Oh, shit. Off. <sighs> Man, imagine the clothes you are wearing were also paid by her. Bombocat! Man, you are literally living on a prayer here, son. Why would you even think about cheating a goddess like that? You are living on a prayer. Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> oh man, I feel bad for her, don't get me wrong, but like... Uh, uh, what the hell is going on guys? What the hell is would you ever cheat on a goddess like that that actually bought your clothes like that? Damn she crying though so embarrassing. Heather said I would be so upset Wait, if that go? was my boyfriend. Yeah, oh, 100% I mean 100% 100% oh my God. They didn't show his face, Mr. J. You gotta understand, they didn't. You're, you're gonna let him go. You're gonna let him go. Now you know. But I feel like such a idiot. You're not an idiot. You like, are not an idiot. You're not. Yeah. Damn. Don't ever think that. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Man. I mean, he just left. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> he just straight up left. He just straight up left. Damn. <laughs> Well, he's gone. Damn. Yeah, he peaced out. <laughs> he was oh Bum my god. He just peaced out. Blonde girl, not even that cute. That's what Nacho said. Honestly, though, no disrespect, though. But, like, uh, I, I agree. Like, she wasn't even that uh, much attractive, though. That I agree. I guess it's the provocative. Uh, pro provocative. Is that the word? Uh, but the way she was dressed up, I guess that what caught him uh right that's that's yeah he caught feelings real quick but brothers be catching brothers be catching feelings this quick though that's insane to me 
I mean, listen, no disrespect. Every girl is a queen, though. You know, y'all, y'all, y'all the queens. Uh, but uh, let's be real. She wasn't pro, uh, pro, uh, provocative. Yeah, provocative. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is he still here? Nah, he left, bro. He peaced out. Didn't care. Keep digging, Jeremy. Uh, Jeremiah, okay. No way videos that are glitching the entire is that internet. Out. Hello? I've seen some really creepy stuff. What? But nothing like this. Yo, that gotta be Harry Potter just flying on the broom right there. Dogs are bugging at something. Where? Over that way. Is that the En esta ocasión estoy justamente aquí subiendo para demostrarles esto. Miren, es un. We are on an adventure. <laughs> Check on the fence. My husband, husband heard my own voice coming from the tree line. Yeah, that might be a skinwalker. It's fun. All right, y'all. Y'all see this move right here? And then I'ma go this side. Look at this. <laughs> Hi, I'm James of Flirting. Yo, that hole be deep though. Definitely like and subscribe, guys. You're watching the Impossible Shout Channel. Welcome that is aboard. Impossible. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. To yeah, like and subscribe, guys. In the, the western edge of South America and bordered by the vast Pacific Ocean on one side and the majestic Andes Mountains on the other, you'll find Chile. Chile. A land yeah, of breathtaking yeah. beauty and diverse landscapes that range from the arid Atacama Desert, one of the driest places on earth, to the lush forests and volcanoes of the Lake District to the rugged wilderness of Patagonia. It's definitely one of those places that you want to visit at least once or twice in your lifetime. But the thing is, it's not just a beautiful place. It's one of those places where mysterious and unexplained phenomena had Yo, I, I still wanna one day like go to Norway and like witness the, the actual northern lights, uh the Aurora Borealis uh at night, right? How many of you guys uh how many of you guys are in Norway? Been quite often. Any of you and for some mysterious reason there's been a rise in mysterious sightings in Chile. Yeah, lock yourselves in the basement guys. No, hide your kids, hide your wives. They're probably gonna say that's like Starling from Elon Musk. Ow. They're not even moving actually, right? And you got like the small, these are dangling around. Hola, ¿qué tal? Bienvenidos a un nuevo video. Welcome to en esta ocasión video. estoy justamente aquí this subiendo. Time I'm right here to show you this. Look at that. On October 2022, an internet account by the name of Guaro y Piscola was staying in Viña del Mar in Chile. Now, Viña del Mar is a coastal city about 130 kilometers from Santiago. And it was very late at night while... What up, Style? How you doing, man? Welcome on in. You're the first time chatter on Twitch. What's up? How you doing, man? Uh, these ones could possibly be drones. I was gonna say like the balloons, the one where that that were dangling around in daytime, right? But there were so many of them. I don't know why people use this format to live. Regular YouTube live is better. Uh, stay chilling. I'm actually regular live. I'm doing regular live on Twitch right now, so you can definitely check it there. But I'm just testing it out. You know what I'm saying? Enjoying the apartment view that Guaro y Piscola saw something strange in the sky, something that wasn't supposed to be there. And this is what they caught on camera. Oh my goodness. I don't know what that is, but it's a light. And it's actually shining too, though. Or it feels that way. I think it's shining. It is. Yeah, the yes. alien probably is using a restroom right now. He's on a restroom break right now. Yo, Azad, welcome back, brother. How are you doing, man? Have any of you actually uh, ever witnessed a UFO with your own eyes? One if yes, two if not. Just curious to see how many of you guys uh, ever have. I personally never have so far. Yeah, it's not a helicopter, bro. Helicopter, do not shine. Honestly, it can be a plane if the plane is coming your way. What? Did you see that? No.
Yes, bro, we did see that, bro. One, uh, you seen it, Daniel. You mean three more likes? Uh, you know, appreciate all of you guys for it. all the love, man. Shout out to all of you guys for dropping likes. Why is it horizontal? I watch you on my TV. Looks weird, lol. Yeah, yeah. I watch it on phone. This is for the phone. Uh, don't don't worry. Normal videos would be normal, but uh, we streaming right now on Twitch. I got full screen though. Uh, more than once, lots of times. Uh, where exactly? What city are you in, Daniel? You Whatever never have this uh, object was. It looked like an airplane or maybe a helicopter, but when he zooms in, you can see that it's quite big. Not only that, it's not blinking nor moving like an airplane or a helicopter would. Jeez. Then, all of a sudden, the object disappears into thin air. Strange, isn't it? Yeah. But it doesn't stop there. Ow. A couple of weeks ago, I uploaded a video of a mysterious spiked object that was seen by a family in Mexico. While researching the topic, I found out that this is not the first time this mysterious object shows up. Yeah, I remember seeing this not long ago. Like, this kind of blew up as well. And, I mean, think about it, right? Like, holy crap. Do you guys think that this can be a drone? Do you think this can be, like, foreign technology? Because UFO just means unidentified flying object. It, just, it does not mean aliens. But most people think when you say uh, UFO, it's aliens. Now, listen, I'm a believer in the Alamos. I do believe that the aliens exist. I do believe it. But that's my my personal belief it doesn't mean that you have to believe it if you do you do you if you don't you don't that's fine that's fair but uh do you think drones can look like it maestro says that drones most likely okay so you think it is uh us test flight this was mr j says becky what's good welcome on in uh i love the live uh, feedback and the comments uh for somebody that's watching this video later on would be able to read the comments uh, of what people are saying as well uh style welcome on in man i saw you on twitch first of all and now i see you here what's good man welcome on in i don't think so man like i don't because this is the uh where are the proportion you know and not only it's not the first time this mysterious object has been showing up quite often in the past few years all over the world for some mysterious reason nah that's like clear that as good? day though. it's clear now oh my god this looks like a fidget spinner actually what yeah. And it's not even spinning. And huh? it was on a sunny. It's not even spinning. It's just moving, actually. Oh my god! Afternoon in 2020, that a Twitter account by the name of Alan 2047-9924 noticed this mysterious object. Check this out. Man, that's like, it's as though like I know it's not, but it's it feel, holy crap. Now it feels more like it as I pause it. It feels like multiple crosses, right? You guys feel that way? Oh shit! Oh, shit. Like it's as though it's the cross. Like cross here, cross here, 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 here. If you're on mobile, you can. Uh, I'm not sure if you can do it on stream, but if you're watching this later on as a video, you can zoom in, right? Uh, I appreciate you, Asaya, but just uh, if you're into gaming, that, subscribe. Otherwise, don't. Subscribe on my second channel for sure. That's where I upload this content. If you're watching on second channel, Welcome on in. Welcome on in. I appreciate you. And it's landing. Well, it looks like it. a massive spiked object can be seen apparently landing behind some trees in Taxcoco Highway in Tezoyuca, Mexico. After being posted, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and people all over the world were intrigued by it. Some internet users left comments saying that this is possibly a balloon, and maybe it is. Maybe. Others stated Maybe. that this is possibly an angel according to ancient drawings and scripts. Biblical, a biblically accurate Whatever angel? this is, it's very similar to what this family saw in Mexico in 2024. Damn. Could be a balloon or maybe a drone, right? It's as though like with every passing year we're seeing more spikes added to these, right? Because this kind of feels bland. Then we saw a different one, which had a little bit more. Then we saw like a fidget spinner one. Then we see like a, a one that, that has the cross around it. Well, maybe not. On August yeah, 2021, a group of people captured something very similar hovering just above the neighborhood of Ecotepec in Mexico. This is what they saw. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah. -oh. So brother be recording the thing. Brother's recording. How many, How many years? 
have been subscribed to, subscribe to your channel uh, anyway. style. <laughs> How would I know? But I, I think you have been around for a while, so I appreciate you, man. It's a pleasure to have you styled. Here In one particular on video, we can clearly see that the object seems to be metallic and has this weird shape. It looks like the actual physical manifestation of a, uh, let's just say, the Roni V. Okay, the Roni, you know, the, 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 the V that we had in 2020. I cannot say that word on YouTube. Yeah. Right, guys? It does look like it, right? Like, as though it's in its literal form. Holy crap. And it got, like, a hole down there, too. Maybe the... Uh, the alien is on a restroom break and that's... He's gonna be throwing crap all out from maybe that hole. It doesn't look like a balloon, nor a drone. So, what is it? Right, there it goes. In one particular video posted by Jared Hausman in Colorado Springs, we can see a very similar object once again. There it goes, what the f It's clear now. It looks like a party hat Oh my to god, you. Come on, <laughs> that looks so creepy. It was also yeah, seen chilling. in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and many other places. So my question is, could it be that these mysterious objects seen all over the world are somehow linked? Is it a mm. balloon? Is it maybe a drone? Or is it something else entirely? What's your take? And, and the most insane thing here is that these are only the ones that w we are seeing it and people are recording and uploading on YouTube, right? How many are there? You know, when you think about it and uh, when you think about it, like, uh, r realistically and logically, if these things exist, they're coming from different planets. How far are, are those planets, right? Light years away, couple light years away, dozens of light years away, hundreds of light years away. And if that's the case, then how many of them land on our planet or come on our planet there's gonna be so many of them uh and i'm sure if they got a civilization somewhere then surely he's, a lot of them would be staying on the ground just like how for example like i'm sitting here you're sitting or maybe walking out uh and watching this and hear my voice you know we got planes not everybody's on plane right now we still got civilization on the ground right so I'm just trying to make a connection, like, uh, how many of them are actually on ground versus uh, flying in their UFOs? Uh, does that make sense, or I, I lost you guys? Now, I don't know about you, but when I was younger, I used to look up at the stars and wonder if we were alone in this universe. I mean, there were so many stars, it would be impossible for us to be the only Twelve intelligent angles. life form. Then I grew up and started researching the Egyptians, the Mayans, the Incas, the pyramids, and I quickly learned about the hollow earth theory, a theory that suggests that there are hidden worlds and possibly cities deep within our planet. Yeah, crazy the Atlantis, uh, suck as I like, uh, hollow earth. You like crazy people watching crazy people just like you. I, I love to have you, man. I love to have you too. Right? Well, Maybe not so much. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys possible video evidence that surfaced recently that suggests that maybe this is not so far-fetched. But before what? doing so, let me explain how this theory became so popular. In the 1700s, a man by the name of Edmund Haley, famous for his work on comets, proposed that the Earth might consist of a shell of 500 miles thick, with two inner concentric shells and an inner core. Yeah. Each shell separated by an atmosphere. Haley's proposed. There's also like conspiracy theories related to flat Earth. I know there's like so many people that believe in flat Earth as well. There's another group that believes in like hollow Earth. Any of you like believe in that a year or nay? I mean, I'm not gonna judge you, but like. Uh... was based on his attempts to explain anomalous compass readings by suggesting the existence of a magnetic atmosphere inside Earth. Then, in the 1800s, John Cleve Sims Jr., an American Army officer, published a circular in which he proposed that the Earth consists of a hollow shell with openings at the poles. I mean, hollow Earth sounds kind of like one of those conspiracy theories that could be, you know, truer uh, more than, let's just say, flat Earth. I mean, if you believe in flat Earth, I don't know, man. Okay, that's you, but like... 
Yeah, you know, I mean, this sounds more a lot more realistic. Uh, this is a streamer. Uh, what up, Zayden? How you doing, man? Is that you, Nurse Rachel? What? Please put those likes up. Yo, Jason, I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Aliens have these technologies where they can transform to a human. Okay. Uh, I think they have been here for a long time. Uh, yeah, I believe that as well. Just because, like, in the older paintings, we have seen these objects. Uh, in, I I'm talking about, like, pre-camera days, pre-internet days, okay? Like, like, hundreds of thousands of years, right? When, uh civilization existed when they would uh, uh there are a lot of paintings where you would see in the paintings themselves something just glowing in the sky flying in the sky that certainly cannot be just imagination though you know thoughts sims dedicated most of his life trying to find these entrances in the north and south pole then in the 19th century a man by the name of alexander saint ives wrote a book about a mysterious city that was supposedly located in the inner core of the earth fast forward to 2016 and edgar nero and his team at arizona state university found out by using seismic tomography that there is a huge blob inside the earth's core what this actually suggests that there's something massive inside our Earth, but we just don't know what. Strange, isn't it? But here's where things get even stranger. Around 2020, the Euphrates River began to dry up. And around 2022, a video surfaced of what's supposed to be a cave that was found in the dried up Euphrates River. In one of the videos, you can actually hear what sounds like a ghostly creature howling inside the cave. Yeah. I mean, I always say we don't even know what's down in our oceans and nobody has ever dug deeper. I think somebody's just sleeping and snoring. Yeah, somebody's sleeping. That's your mother-in-law? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, was that you that made that comment the other time as well, Hakeem? Because I remember that comment, right? Yeah, your mother-in-law... In the second snoring. video, the explorers go inside the supposed cave, and in it you can see passageways and even what looks like a hieroglyph. It sounds like aliens talking. There's a show on Dr. Steven Greer on Gaia. Whatever it is, it's going on here. It's very hard to affirm that this is the real deal. It could be fake, but if it isn't, then it raises some serious questions. But it doesn't stop there. A couple of days ago, a video no surfaced way. the internet of what's supposed to be a mysterious passageway that was found in China while construction workers were digging at a site. And this is what happened. They find my ex. Yo, what up, Gray Foxy? How you doing? Welcome on in on Twitch. That's where Nancy Pelosi goes to underground to shift it before doing insider trading. Damn. Did you see that? Even. Did you see that? No, no, no. Even no. though the video is only eight seconds long, in it we can see what looks like some sort of ancient construction that was unearthed by the people that were digging the site. Not only that. We can hear what sounds like a massive creature on the other side of those walls. After being posted, the video amassed millions of views and internet users were trying to figure out... I'm guessing that was also your mother-in-law, right, Hakim? Yeah, it was you, right? Yeah, I feel that. What up? Yeah, man. Your mother-in-law always be snoring that much. Come on, man. The Bible says angels are crap in that river. She gets like that after she drinks hot dog water, lol. Oh, okay. Damn, you must not like your your <laughs> your mother-in-law too much, huh? I, I bound them in the darkness under the river. If his uh, sound is real, after all, what is any religious figure that came down to earth in modern terms exactly? They would be called an alien or not of this earth. Yeah, I guess, I guess. Uh, what I exactly was going on point. here? Some left comments saying that this is possibly a dragon. While others stated that this is maybe a lion or a tiger. Others also left comments saying that this is fake, that the sound That's a tiger, bro. No, that's a Hakim's mother-in-law, bro. Sound was added to the like video. 
which could be the case. Sound effects, yeah, I like this one. Bruh. Bruh. But I'm not too sure. Over there. But these people. Is it possible that this? Okay, we're not sure if these people actually reacted. It feels like that they did react to the sound, but obviously you do not see their faces right now you see this guy like looking and staring at something there but but we do not know conclusively whether they reacted maybe yeah it was an added sound effect later on this is some sort of entrance not. to an underground hidden world a world that john sims jr and many other researchers dedicated their entire lives searching for it what's your take do you think that maybe these are just added sounds or fakery? Or do you think that this is maybe the real deal? Yo, Ninja, what's something good? Welcome else on in. going on here. If you guys are new, follow on Twitch as well. Would appreciate it. Love to have both of you here, man. Ninja and uh, Grey Fox, straight chilling. Absolutely, you became a sub on have Twitch. Have you ever as well. heard Bang, of the man. Appalachian Mountains? It's one of the oldest and most visually stunning mountain ranges in the world. Offering a unique blend of forests, cascading waterfalls, and towering peaks that attract tourists from all over the world. But behind its beauty lies a creepy and mysterious backstory. It seems that there's something strange going on in the Appalachian Mountains, and people who live there are constantly talking about mysterious phenomena and creepy tales of oh. unknown creatures. Yeah! Yeah, guys, uh, definitely lock yourselves in the basement or... Nah, don't lock yourselves in the basement. These things can come in your basement too, though. So, what do we do? I guess I got no notes. Creatures that lurk in the woods. What is that? Well, keep your loved ones uh, close, I guess. What is that in the woods? Hey, yo. Hello? Dang, bullets are not affecting it. Honey, Hello? I'm home. Honey, is that you? Some people believe that because the Appalachian mountain range was formed about 300 million years ago, there are certain things about it that we simply don't understand. And it was on a sunny afternoon after enjoying a barbecue that a family noticed their dog staring at the woods and bark. It's brake lights? Okay. <laughs> Yo, what a fart. How you doing, man? It's where Nadia, Nadia is keeping her computer just for activation. Have a reason for her uh, not getting banned? Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. King. And this is what they caught on camera. <coughs> being chilling? I think that dog was kind of Still being chilling. Till? Till? Yeah, that way. Yeah. Yeah, I think the dog is being chilling, but he's looking oh, yeah, at his right there. Look, right there. Oh. Fire in the hole. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Did you see that? What looks like a very tall and pale humanoid creature can be seen hiding behind a tree. The Holy person crap. recording very bravely goes outside and tries to capture whatever this thing was on camera once more. And this is what happens. Oh my goodness. Okay, so he goes in the forest and there's, uh, yeah, he sees that thing. Uh, Hakim, I'm guessing your mother-in-law? But no, it cannot be. I think it's Ahis, so it cannot be a mo mother-in-law. Please don't tell me that was your mother-in-law. What the dude. frick? Pretty sure there was another one. After being posted, many internet users left comments saying that this could be Bigfoot or maybe a person using a ghillie suit, yeah. which could be the case. Man, if if anybody's because we we always have this conversation whenever like we see Bigfoot. Was it a person in Bigfoot clothing? Like imagine how sad, right? Like you're trying to fool people. <laughs> Why? Like, why would you want to dress up as Bigfoot and, and scare people like that? Come on, man. Like, what you guys thinking, man? What you guys thinking? But even so, it doesn't explain what it was doing hiding behind the trees in this person's backyard. Not only that, in a specific part of the video, it looks like it's some sort of pale humanoid creature. But I could be wrong. Creepy, isn't it? It but is, when it comes to it strange is. things going on in the Appalachian Mountains, it doesn't stop there. Morgan Lambert has been living with her husband in the Appalachian Mountains for a while now. And since they moved there, they've been seeing and hearing 
strange things. I think that is one of the creepiest things that I have ever caught on camera and that I have ever experienced in my life. That sounds almost identical to my voice. On January 13th, there was a storm with very strong winds at her dad's farm. The next day, Morgan and her husband decide to go check her dad's fence to see if things were okay. Uh -oh. And along the way, Bad something idea. really creepy happens. Morgan's husband starts reacting to a voice that's... This is why I say, guys, uh, like if you're a sister watching this video, hide your hobbies, man. Hide your hobbies. If you don't have a hobby, then hide yourselves, okay? Hide yourselves. Uh, yeah, hide your kids, hide your wives. But if in this case... You gotta hide your hobbies though. Shouting in the distance, the only problem is the voice sounds exactly like Morgan's. Pay very close attention. Wow. Adventure. <laughs> check on the fence line to make sure no trees fell on it because we had like 50 mile an hour winds. My husband heard my own voice coming from the tree line while we were out and about. I decided to film to make a goofy video for you guys as a break from the spooky but the camera caught the voice that I couldn't hear. It sounds almost just like me. I cannot really make out what it's saying. I hear baby, but I can't tell the rest. Okay, Check you got a plot. My dad. Yeah, hide oh your dogs. Oh my god. I'm freezing. Yeah, uh, that Bing Chilling meme is from that John Cena uh, ice cream. Oh god. <laughs> what did you say? I said, oh god. Okay. Wait. Brother, I, I'm tripping, I guess. What did you say just now? I just said, oh god. What up, Ruthless? Walk on in. No, I really did. What are you talking about? What? What are you talking about? I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. Uh, I think we're gonna I don't run. You guys think Skinwalker? Because uh, that's uh, basically what they say, right? Skinwalker is uh, imitate the person, the last guy or person he killed. I mean, I heard that actually in the last video. Somebody said that in the comments. I've seen this. A Skinwalker calls him. Um, uh, it's okay. We're good. Oh, we're you've good. seen this? Um, I don't hear. Go, 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 go. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. But but do we actually have like a really solid video of a skinwalker though? Uh I mean technically we in the in the last couple of videos we did had like some really good recordings, but it's just one of those things, right? Is it real? Is it fake? But I wonder, right, like, uh, how many people di really did see G Skizzle really fell off since he doesn't have anything to milk, that's crazy. Uh, Tono, I've been uploading every single day, bro, don't worry. And, and during the stream, we talked about gaming earlier, uh, you're joining a little bit late, now we're, like, checking out, like, some, uh, different content. Uh, but, like, uh, we had, like, gaming stuff, don't worry, uh, and after the stream, I'll have gaming content, like, gaming news video for you, like, don't worry, I'm still doing it every single day. Just trying different, like, just trying to stream and try different stuff. Uh, alongside the, the, the normal daily content as well, Tono. But how you doing, man? How you doing, brother? Uh, don't worry, I got you with the gaming stuff here, man. Don't, don't worry about that right now. I don't hear anything. Did you hear that? If you listen closely, we can clearly hear a voice mimicking Morgans, shouting from the distance things like, Hey, and where are you going? Unfortunately, I was unable to understand every word. But her boyfriend did, and he was basically talking back to this thing until both of them noticed that something was off. Confused, they both got out of there as fast as possible, not knowing exactly what they were dealing with. After being posted, the video amassed millions of views, and thousands of people were trying to figure out what was going on. Some people believe that this is possibly yeah, a skinwalker. Skin Others think this could be a demon or a ghost. Whatever it is, it seems to have followed Morgan back to her home, and she continued on hearing this voice mimicking her own. Until one day she was able to- I mean, technically it's like daytime as well, so I, I feel like that it wasn't that scary, but if it was something that happened at nighttime, then it would be really, really scary. You like this content too? Ruthless. Uh, if you're not already, definitely sub to the second channel because I, I post every day on there too. Like, all of this content. This type of content, yay, that's scary X. Let me actually show the well, channel. To actually bit. capture it on camera, and this is what happened. Oh crap, that's my voice, but that isn't me.
Creepy, isn't it? What's even creepier is that some people state to have already experienced something like this. While researching the topic, I found out that it's quite common for skinwalkers to mimic other people's voices. Yeah, coming home late is not an option anymore. And if you guys uh, are into this content, I uploaded a video two hours ago. It was a news video related to uh, the topic. Uh, definitely subscribe to this channel, okay? Uh, I would love to have you there, man. Dude. Yeah. Oh my god, no. Just run. Bad. Just just jet off. Just jet. Now, just if you jet. don't know what a skinwalker is, in Navajo tradition, it's supposed to be a malevolent witch that has the ability to turn into, possess, or disguise themselves as animals. Vendigo or skinwalker capture on camp. What the hell is that? Yo, okay, initially I did not see look like smoke, but then you see the eyes kind of glowing like looking at him. Damn! Penny! Yeah, what a chihuahua gonna do? Like what a small ass dog like you is gonna do, but guys, uh, the night is still young. Click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there. Check this out, man. We had a ton of clips in this one and I will see you right there. All right, don't worry, if you're watching this live, we're still gonna continue. Yeah, 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 this is a channel, this is a channel. Let me actually link you in the chat. Uh, if you're watching on Vertical, you might not be able to click the link, though, uh, because YouTube is like that. So the channel name is ScaryX. Yeah, if you're into this content, I would definitely love to have you on the second channel as well. Do a video where you're buying a toy gun in Target? Nah, bro, that's not gonna... <laughs> Yo, AR, what's good? Welcome on in. Uh, good on the boyfriend, but this is scary, especially that if, I, uh, if uh, it followed him, yeah. I will never go into any type of wilderness without a gun. People want to get fooled, uh, Bigfoot. Uh, you all of you that are watching on Twitch as well, I appreciate y'all, man. Thank you all, man. Y'all, y'all the, y'all the goats, man. And I think they control the street and government by impersonating people when needed. Okay, that's what Daniel says. All right, boys, let's get into it. Skinwalkers are feared, and their practices are. Skinwalkers are feared, and their practices are considered taboo within Navajo culture. So in other words, you don't want to come face to face with one. But it honestly looks like a tribal person, right? Like I'm when I look at uh, people dressed up like that, I'm I'm already ex expecting and assuming that it's, it might be like a tribal person. Apparently, Plus. they try to mimic other people's voices to lure them in into the woods. And this is exactly what happened with an internet account by the name of Yo What's Up My Guy 403. What's up, yo? Can a brother get a like on the video, yo? Uh, what's up, Dio? How you doing, man? In this video, a group of girls were waiting for their father to pick them up just next to a bridge. This is when all of a sudden they start hearing what sounds like their father shouting at them from deep within the woods. Oh, Trying man. to make sense of things, they immediately get their cameras and begin to record. And this is what happens. Ow, ow. Oh. Waiting to be picked up. YouTube channel. Waiting uh, waiting to be picked up and we heard something mimicking our friend's dad calling us. Yo, that's insane, right? Like, what'd you call that thing? I guess, uh, Skinwalker? W usually I think you would call, like, what's this called? Uh, like, Jin, right? Uh, is it limited to, if you hear someone, like, mimicking someone that you know, in this case, I guess we're about to hear the friend's dad calling them. If you hear something like that, does that mean skinwalker or can it be something else? Is oh. that limited to skinwalker only? <laughs> is it like, where is his car? Yeah, what is he talking about bridge? I don't know, maybe he's all like, oh yeah. Can you, I, yeah. I literally don't know how to justify this. <laughs> yeah, me well, neither. I don't want to head towards someone that's not your father. Yeah, I'm I didn't think about that. Uh oh, uh oh. He did say my vitamin nickname, Lolo. Yell again. Yell again. Dad? Yeah. Where? What, is he down there? Why? Why do you want us to walk to the bridge? Where is he? Where are you? Yo, that sounds like the realest yeah I've ever heard, though. 
But what are the odds the video is real, right? What if, the, you know, the, the, the real dad was down there saying, yeah, and they just are faking a video. What if that's the case? But if that's, like, really real, then holy shit, man. Like, that was one of the best sounding yeah ever. You know? Like down part there? Two. Dad! Part two? Okay, so we got part, part two now. Yeah, it could be fake. I, uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say, I can't too. see you! Why can't you go to the car? Oh, is he right there? Oh, is that it? I don't know. Okay, there's a person in front of them. At this point, they spot what looks like their father across the bridge and they realize that whatever it was that they were talking to wasn't their father at all. It was something else entirely. Creepy, isn't it? But I want to know your yes. thoughts. What do you really think is going on here and have you- oh, That video, I mean, can easily be fake, let's be real, but... If it's really real, that was one of the best sounding yeah I've ever heard though. And after that it went silent, it is as though like they cannot say anything more than yeah, come. It, it feels like that there's just like one syllable word that they usually say, right? You ever heard anything similar yourself? Or maybe two syllables most, but from the videos that we're seeing, they're just in the 1950s. Like one, one a man by the name of Hugh Everett III, an American physicist, came up with a theory, a very interesting one, that we may be living inside of a parallel universe. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Everett yeah. first introduced the concept of many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics where he suggests that all possible outcomes of quantum measurements are physically realized in some world or some universe. Everett's theory implies that for every quantum event that could occur, the universe splits, creating a near-infinite number of parallel universes where every possible outcome happens. Damn. Now even yeah, that delayed reaction, I remember seeing that. How many of you guys are believers of a parallel universe? Definitely seems scripted, part two needed, come on. Yeah, when she was like, yeah, like for part two, I was like, nah, that's probably BS, right? <laughs> like for part two. Uh, or maybe it was one of those things like the video needs to be under 60 seconds, but nowadays you can upload longer than 60 seconds on tw uh, TikTok. But you disagree, I like turtles. Okay, that's fair. I mean, if I like turtles too. Why wouldn't I like turtles, right? Uh, but but here's the thing, okay, let's just be like, let's just say that parallel universe exists, right? Okay, they exist, but where? Uh, in this universe or can we actually, can, do we have like a real world that's similar to ours? But, but somewhere in the, in the, the universe, is that what's up? Do we have like physically, y you know what I mean, right? Like, can you go there, uh, eventually? Because if... If ever, like hundreds of years from now, thousand years from now, if you have never blown up, then holy crap, man. Just imagine like you going in another another world that's similar to ours uh, and you get to meet yourself. That would be honestly insane, you know? In this dimension, uh, you believe it, Maestro believes it, Nacho believes it, Amber believes it, Heather believes it, uh, Wormhole. Uh, some people also talk about like, and it's a conspiracy theory, right? Like their dreams are... Uh, uh, deja vu's uh, dreams deja vu's that's basically you like in an alternative world like sort of, uh, different reality uh darby yeah dmt joe rogan always talk about it deja vu strange yeah exactly that, i was saying that too yeah exactly right they hide everything from us everything in front of us you would never imagine uh is uh is here even though this is just a theory it could help explain why sometimes reality appears to glitch I've seen some really creepy stuff. Yeah, that's Harry Potter. But nothing like this. There's wires. Wires attached this way and the other side. Right in the middle of the air. It's not attached to wires or anything like that. Uh, wave, wave around it. Like, try to see if you can. Is it lowering? Wow. Only in Fresno. For the past couple of years, many people have been noticing strange things going on. Things that sometimes have absolutely no explanation. 
And most of the times, these things are being coined as a glitch in the Matrix. Yeah, brother looking up, and brother feels like that he's... What's most interesting oh, about these glitches in the Matrix is that at least once or... What's most... What's most what? interesting about these glitches in the matrix is that at least once or twice in your lifetime you should experience one for yourself. And this is exactly what happened with an internet account by the name of Superman is Taken. Superman is Taken and a couple of friends were just about to have dinner and it was when they opened the dishwasher to set the table that they noticed something odd. This is what they caught on camera. Riddle me this. This cup broke in the dishwasher. This is the shard we found. Oh. Exhibit A. And it does not and fit. And the way that it is. Now, flip it. Flip no, it the other way. It <laughs> it's <laughs> rounded, so it's supposed to go like that. With. Uh, or try flipping it. Try flipping it. The lip of the cup on top. And that's the way that it would fit. Now you're turning it. Now the other way. The other way around. But. Okay, now it feels like that it fits, but it's opposite, kind of. But that's the inverted part. Yeah. How do you make it fit? Just throw the entire thing out. It's over. In the cup. It's... It doesn't... It doesn't fit. You're going viral, baby. <laughs> the question is, does broken glass invert in the dishwasher? <laughs> Thank you, and... At first, I thought that the girls were trying to piece the glass cup together in a wrong way which would maybe explain the situation. But then I noticed that when she's trying to piece it together, the glass lid is on the correct side. Which means that something strange happened and the piece of glass somehow inverted its side. After being posted, many internet users were leaving comments trying to figure out what was going on. Yeah. Some the glass is possessed. Throw the glass out! Throw the glass out! The glass is not in its right mind right now. I was, uh, it was in, in a jail cell with in, uh, inmate. Okay, I'm not inmate. I'm not able to see your comment. It's like YouTube is hiding that there. You will only really believe something when you actually see it with your own eyes for yourself. And then no matter who it is. They cannot tell you that you are just making it up or lying. Skunk says that in the chat. Suggests that the piece of glass inverted due to excessive heat inside the dishwasher. Others believe this could be a legit glitch in the matrix. Yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure that there's a logical explanation. However, what there. really bugs me is that when she's trying to piece the glass cup together, the broken piece of glass she's holding in her hand seems to be longer than the gap that remained in the glass cup. I was gonna say like, uh, you know, turn it around. Not like, f do this, but it's hard to say it. Uh, but like, rotate it. Yeah, that's what I meant, rotate it, but. It's as if both pieces do not fit in any way. Strange, right? Mm. But when it comes to strange glitches, it doesn't stop there. Okay, that's An internet weird. profile by the name of Catherine what Giselle amazing. was with her family at her farm and they were just about to record a TikTok dance video. Oh no, this is when like why? Why y'all wanna record TikTok dance? Why? Why? <laughs> like don't do it, man. Bro, who is the guy behind you? <laughs> Guys, do not look behind you while watching these videos. I mean, whoever is, um, I don't, yeah, I don't mind it. I mean, I kind of mind it, but I don't mind it. I mean, I'm going to pretend you're not there, all right? I never want to look behind, okay? Never look behind you when you're watching this video, guys. Ever. And all of a sudden, something really strange happened. I never do. And they were able to capture it all on camera. Check this out. What a <laughs> Did you see that? What? If we slow-mo and rewind the video, you can clearly see that the boy in blue simply appears out of nowhere. It's as if he teleported into the TikTok dance in the last minute. Now at first, I was pretty sure that there was a logical explanation to it, but then I started noticing their shadows. The boy in blue doesn't seem to be casting any shadow up until the moment where he climbs the fence. That's when you see it. So it's as if he really teleported in the last minute. Strange, isn't it? Yeah, he appeared when it comes to glitches, it gets stranger. 
for the CGI. Okay, uh, what you're thinking, CGI, or or he's uh, from another dimension, teleporting? Maybe I meet myself every day, six to eight versions of myself to be exact when I play Call of Duty. Okay, oh yeah, that's fair. That I see what you did, Durag. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, we were talking about realities, multiple realities earlier, so yeah, okay, okay, I see it. Uh, like a round body on a, ta a tablet belly down in the middle of the room, guy standing all around, I would fit in his flying saucer and would be able to meet you. Oh, okay, okay. The past couple of months, okay. many people all over the world have been noticing what sometimes looks like two moons in the sky. Oh, crap. Yeah, there was like, talks about that, right? Two moons, uh... And this is you. exactly what Yannick Baby caught on camera on a Friday night. Check this out. All right, y'all. Y'all see right this moon right here? He ran across here. from the right? Y'all see this moon right here. It's the moon right there. And then I'm going to go this side. And then it's the moon right here. Look at this. Y'all can't tell me I'm tripping. No, in Yannick tripping. Baby's you're video, tripping. we can clearly see what looks like two moons in the sky. But I guess that what's even creepier is the amount of comments of people saying that they saw something similar. We sometimes, yeah, Hannah knows everyone, or everything, right? Not everyone, that sounded, Bruh. That sounded bad. I would like to believe that Hannah is a family girl, but uh, we sometimes get a mini, mini moon that shows up. I've been seeing it for years. They are different colors. One is more yellowish. That's what the amazing spider uh, or cider man says. While Already researching the topic, I came across more video. It's a planet. Yeah, I'm willing to believe it's a planet because uh, you you can uh, see. Uh, but people don't. Some people don't even believe in in uh, in space though. You're still on live. Yes, America. Yes, 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 yes. But almost towards the end of it right now. But uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, you can uh, in a perfect time you can see multiple planets as well. Uh, I know Mars. Jupiter, Uranus, I believe, Saturn, Saturn for sure, you can see uh, at night time, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. That might suggest that this is not a trick of light or something like that. Al parecer, notó que había dos lunas, como lo podemos apreciar en este video. As you can see in the video, glitch in the matrix, an illusion, an illusion, an illusion, an illusion, or maybe the second moon. Or maybe a second moon? For some mysterious reason, many people all over the world seem to be seeing something similar. Holy but how is crap. it possible? Could they- uh, Did you guys actually hear that? That uh, And this was a while ago, I believe back in 2020, when China was like, we need to make our second moon. Uh, you know, we need to create an artificial moon. Is the guy behind you your twin brother? I don't know, man. How would I know? How would I know? Have you seen China's- Okay, oh, yo, shit, man, I did not read that. Okay, well, uh, I guess Mr. J knows about it. But he, yeah, I just typed that. Yeah, see? Yeah, exactly. Like, we speak at the same time. It's like, uh, y you know what I was going to say, and I knew what you were going to say. But uh, technically, you're talking about the artificial sun, but maybe that's what you meant. I didn't hear about the artificial sun. I heard about the moon, that China was looking to make an artificial moon, Mr. J. I just typed that. Yeah, crazy, right? Uh, fun fact, that's uh, uh, there's a Uranus, Missouri. Uh, Missouri. Uh, the first one was a light in a tower. When do you game? Uh, at night time, uh, whenever like I need to, when, whenever I got like a lot of YouTube videos that I need to catch up. So I'll watch them in the background and play at the same time. This be a legit glitch in the matrix or is it something else entirely? And then it's the moon. I want to know your thoughts. Do you think that this could be a legit glitch in the matrix or is there something else going mm. on here? Yeah, 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 yeah. In the early 20th century, one of the most notable attempts to scientifically investigate the existence of ghosts was conducted by Harry Price, a British re Okay. <laughs> Yo, for some reason, I was uh, looking at my Twitch chat on the other side, right? When he said Harry, in my mind, I was like, yo, okay, he's gonna say Harry Potter. <laughs> Researcher. Price's most famous investigation took place in Essex, England. At the time, he used several different techniques to document and try to prove the existence of ghosts. However, critics argued that some of the phenomena could be attributed to natural causes or were outright hoaxes. 
while supporters saw his work as pioneering in the field of paranormal research. Oh uh, no. I guess got some new fish. What? New big tank as well. Okay, not trying to be racist here, but like I never seen a black uh, goldfish though. Bruh. Yo, holy crap. I I mean goldfish was always like gold, right? Not trying to be racist here, guys. I'm brown myself, uh, so not trying to be racist. Jadu kia he usni. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Yo, why did I read that way, bro? Uh, Jean, I understood, man. Kaise bhai Jean? Tik tak ho? Kya chale, man? I speak the language, brother. There's currently two black ones, two gold ones. Uh, I've called them Goldie. Goldie number two. Uh... A black one, and I, if you guys have any suggestions for names that. Oh, oh, hey, yo, hey, yo. Have any suggestions for names that. Oh, oh, there was a hand, right? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! What the? Honey! Show yourself, cutie pie! After a heavy I'm price, home. there were several different paranormal investigators trying to prove the existence of ghosts. And even though different and more technological techniques were always used, it's been always difficult to document and prove the existence of a spiritual realm. What? What is that? Casper? Is that Casper? But what I find intriguing about paranormal activity is that it usually occurs when you least expect it to. And this is exactly what happened with Reddit user Accomplished Row 900. Join me on a tour of this charming three and a half. <laughs> Reddit user Accomplished Row 900 works as a. Re is she really trying to show the house or is she really trying to show herself though? Because I don't know, man. Uh, yo, thank you, Mot Motman. You the homie, man. Welcome on in. I appreciate it. You're not gonna spoil black goldfish. Good on. What's the name of this video? No way videos that are glitching the entire internet out. It's coming from that is impossible. Love the stream. Gotta uh, gotta hit this at 3 a.m. and my eyeballs are losing their fine. Yeah, catch you in the next one, man. Ca uh, catch up on your beauty sleep, my guy. Here are some here are some good night kisses and uh, catch you in the next one, man. Appreciate you uh, dropping by for this long end. Appreciate you, man. Realtor. And it was while recording a specific house to show to her buyers that she started noticing strange things going on. Oh crap. Yeah, the door opened, huh? She describes how certain doors kept locking and unlocking by themselves and how she sometimes also heard voices inside the house. And it was on one certain evening while recording a video tour for one of her buyers that something chilling happened. All right. This New Mag. is what she caught on camera. New Mag. Wow, it's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this beautiful vintage 1962. Uh, okay, so she's trying to like film a video uh, to basically she's like trying to sell the house and she's trying to like be all nice and uh, make sure she's <laughs> looking good and also feeling good and also able to sell the house and uh, okay, okay mess up there. Okay, I, I mean I'm kind of used to that so I get it, I get it. Does anyone remember when the clouds used to make shapes now they don't? Something's up. Oh, she had a script? Oh, huh? Yeah, take number two. And action! Wow, it's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this vintage 1963 bungalow. Yeah, hold up, lady. How, son? Yeah, move aside, lady. I got this. Show yourself. Put your hands up. Okay, no footstep sound uh, either. You watch it actually close. Is it gonna close? Brad wants to be on camera. Go ahead, do it again. <laughs> it is as though he. You're on, camera. Us. You're on camera. Is that a threat?
Yeah, man, like, listen, they always say whenever you are looking to buy a house, uh, just uh, do your due diligence and also do your little bit of research. When I mean little bit of research, just uh, try to find out who was the last owner and who was the last, last owner. Just talk with them. But I know, like, most people wouldn't do that. Like, even if I was looking to buy a house, like, it's something that, like, you're like, it's a waste of time, right? Like, why would I just want to get, I like the house, I look for the house, I like it, I'll buy it, that's it. But it's smart to, I guess, talk with the, with the old owners, you know? And I'm saying this, I don't have a house, right? Like, I live in an apartment, but, but I'm saying this right now, and in my mind, I'm thinking that, if, when I am ready to buy, I'm not even gonna think about doing it, right? So, uh, but I think it's a good thing to do, I guess. Uh, any of you ever had an experience like that where you bought a house and it was kind of like, uh, like that, where you would, where you were having like paranormal experiences? Any of you ever had, or in general, any of you ever had a paranormal experience that you couldn't uh, ever uh, make sense out of? One if yes, two if not. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, my mama would do that 100%. Zon, 100%, 100%. Uh, an old woman told me if you sense something unnatural or encounter something unexplainable, do not give it attention. Or if uh, if an object moves, don't touch it or it will attach to you. Okay. I mean, yeah, I actually heard that saying as well, to be honest. Maybe. Uh, maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. Yes, Manny. Yeah. Open this door. Go ahead, open this door. I think it's gonna slam shut. Open this door like you did the other one. Bro, like you are literally trying to be a boss lady on the on the ghost. Give give the guy a break, bro. Like He probably has a job too, right? Like he has to scare so many people. You know what I'm saying? Like cut cut him some slack. When I was little, my old house was haunted. I seen a pack of gum being pushed across the coffee table. Not exactly sure if the events that are taking place are just a coincidence or maybe the presence of an evil spirit, Accomplished Row 900 now tries to talk to the entity in the house. However, most paranormal investigators state that this is not an intelligent thing to do, and I guess that Accomplished Row 900 is just about to find out. Uh -oh. This is what happens next. Yeah! Yeah, we got a plot, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, man. You don't challenge a ghost, bro. Uh, yo, Motsman, what are you doing, bro? Don't challenge it, man. Don't challenge it. Come on, just move the glass or something. I'm, I'm expecting the glass. Uh, oh, sh crap. Music stops. Uh, yeah! <laughs> bruh, 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 bruh. What's Go that? ahead, do it again. Not scared. Honey, where you at, cutie pie? I'm home. Yeah. Bruh, 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 bruh. Don't turn, don't turn. Okay, for a second that kind of that kind of effed me up there for a second though but that was uh, actually the fire alarm right there that the phantom wants to know not all are evil just don't demand anything of the yeah don't demand anything. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah now she running huh now she running now she running now completely scared she gets the heck out of there as fast as possible I mean, how are you gonna challenge a ghost with the high heels on? Well, and I can't completely understand why. Creepy, isn't it? But it gets even creepier. Oh, damn. At the time, Accomplished Row 900 didn't notice anything strange. But after uploading the video to the internet, many people started pointing out that one of the paintings in the wall becomes darker just moments before the door unlocks by itself. Oh, if we slow-mo and rewind the video, you can clearly see the painting change. Oh. Whatever is going- Yo. Yo, that's insane though. Holy crap. Okay, that- this one is actually good. This one is actually good. What are we thinking? 
why she went that late there. I think she figured, probably didn't have time. Uh, she figured out a time block uh, and she was like, okay, let's go and film a video. Yeah, I mean... Going on here, this could be one of the best video evidence of the existence of ghosts. But I want to know your thoughts. Do you think that maybe this is just a coincidence? Mama always said that do not mess around with the things that bullets don't kill. I meant to cover this story earlier on, but guys, what are we thinking, man? What are we thinking? So, we are apparently getting a rumor, uh, and this is coming from Insider Gaming, coming from Tom Henderson, the same guy that leaked the Lucia Burna, okay, for GTA 6. The same guy that leaked stuff for Battlefield 2042, all right? Leaked stuff for Call of Duty, and he's a very good uh, known leaker. This information is coming from him. I reposted over on my Twitter, and uh, uh, this is my Twitter. If you guys got Twitter, I would love to have you there. You know shit? Uh, so, Insider Gaming, that's the source. We're hearing that Battlefield, the next Battlefield game is coming, okay? It's planned for October 2025. What are we thinking? WL? I, I feel like, I wish we didn't have to wait that long, honestly. Right? Uh, but I guess it's kind of reasonable. It's kind of expected. The director recently... Uh, peaced out, so he quit. Oh shit! Oh, yeah, shit. the director quit. We talked about it uh, in the last uh, stream as well, and he was the guy, Marcus Leto. Marcus Leto, and we talked about Marcus Leto a while uh, ago. And Marcus Leto is considered to be one of the most uh, influential guy in the Battlefield community, right? Because uh, he was asking for a lot of people's feedback. He was like, "Yeah, he's gonna make Battlefield uh, very, very good." Uh, and genuinely though, he was very much communicating and he was very active in the scene and asking for everybody's opinion, like which Battlefield game you like, uh, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, what do you like about this, what do you like about that. Uh, he was quite a positive force, uh, mind you, and uh, apparently he quit, he quit, and he posted over on his Twitter as well. Uh, so October 2025, I, I wish it was like early 2025. I feel like that GTA 6 is gonna be coming out around the same time. Those of you that are following the news for GTA 6, I made a video on it earlier, definitely check it out. The game is not coming out early 2025, guys. It's very unlikely, sadly though. I'm, I'm sorry, it's very unlikely. And this, is, this isn't even a rumor or me like pulling that out of my ass. It's just that Take-Two initially said fiscal 2025 for GTA 6, and now they say calendar. Fiscal means before April of 2025, calendar means between January and December. Cha it can, I mean, realistically, it can still come out early 2025 because calendar means all the months in a year. But why would they remove fiscal? Uh, why would they change their wording from fiscal to calendar, right? Getting delayed most probably just a tiny bit. And realistically, uh, realistically, a lot of people are believing that that game is going to come out either like September, like GTA 5 or possibly like October, November of 2025. Now, if this game comes out October 2025, big mistake. I love Battlefield, but I don't love like that though. You know, like everybody would be on GTA 6. And knowing the, the history of Battlefield, I mean, listen, right now a lot of people are liking it, but people that like it are the one liking it. People that hate it, they're, they're gone. They're far gone, right? They're gonna wait for the next one, see the trailer, if it looks good, if it hits them in the G-spot, they're gonna be back. What are you thinking? Where are you at with Battlefield? Would you play Battlefield if it came out at the same time as GTA 6? One if yes, two if not. Just uh, real quick, uh, we're getting closer to the end of the stream. Uh, I got pregnant by a ghost. Okay, MLB Busta. Okay, well... Damn, man, so the, you're telling me the ghost, uh, like... You're a chick or a guy, uh, first of all. That that <laughs> welcome on in on the stream. How you doing? Welcome on in. I appreciate you on the on the Twitch stream. Overlord uh, Schizzle Nacho. I appreciate you. You know I do, man. You on the YouTube's, you on the Twitch. Uh, uh come here, man. Let me show you some Uh Emil Buster, you a chick or a man? Uh, I'm the first time male. Okay, you're the first time male. First male to get pregnant by. Okay, I, I get it. I get it. Strong, independent. I guess you do you, queen. Uh, or king, my bad. Uh, chivalry 2 better, cannot wait for GTA 6, 1, 2. But damn, it's still another year away. Yeah, like, god damn, it's still another year away, right? We're hearing that it will feature 64 player matches. Uh, I'm hearing some people be mad about it, or disappointed rather. Uh, but I guess it's a good move because 128 player did not work uh, with the maps, right? People felt like that it was the maps were way too big and still people were having a hard time finding people. The matches were not balanced. So they're, guess, I guess, moving back. 64. Uh, four class system. Destruction is coming back, but we have to wait and see. 
It's also gonna have a free-to-play battle royale mode. Game set in 2025-2030. Uh, so the setting is good. It's modern day. Next year, classes W, destruction W. Free-to-play battle royale. I don't care for battle royale, but I guess it'd be what it'd be. Any of you care about battle royale anymore? Yeah or nay? Uh, and I appreciate all of you guys for liking the stream as well. I know we are doing like vertical streams, so 